I'm going to post that comment uh, to our moderator group. You definitely have to. The yeah. comment that I got um, on one of my videos today. I want to see it. Said the reason why he subscribed. Oh, I seen that today. I liked it. That was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, I was like, yep, that's my kind of dude, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he says, uh, <laughs> chugs a beer and then on the first take, immediately runs it into the pole into the skate park. <laughs> <laughs> he said, this is my kind of channel. I subscribed. <laughs> Such a, yeah, I seen that. I was like, yeah, it's perfect. What's up, everybody? All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. i got to go spend some time with the wife. All right, Mets. We'll see All right, Mets, man. Have, you guys have a good one. one. <laughs> How are they 50 something? Co Whoa! I had the wrong thing clicked. I didn't realize there was a ton of people in here already. Oh, yeah, dude. They, they've been waiting. Dude, I didn't even know. Yeah. I had the uh, the private thing clicked. So I, I just saw like one message. I'm like, oh, this is, yeah. like, is going <laughs> to go anywhere today. <laughs> So uh, we're missing, we're missing Larry. We're missing Justin. J O R C is gonna jump in here, hopefully. Come on, J O guy, jump in. Robbie's R C. What's going on, man? Mitchell, you jump in. Get in here. Let's see. We've got an invite. Bam. James, how you doing, man? Paste. It always does the wrong thing. Why does it do that every single time? I wonder if we'll see Billy Bob. Mets, you're supposed to be spending time with your wife. He is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, 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 yeah, this movie's great. He's next to her. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Shade Tree. Hey, Sterion, how you doing, man? Deontay, what's going on, brother? Got Keith here, James, Robbie's RC. Eleanor, RC, and Hunting. Wow, the thing's just like going quick. J.O. is here. Lauren Cronish. Crispies is here. What's going on, Crispies? And I think, oh, we got this guy, Chef Beardsley's here. That's me. <laughs> Who else? I think that's it. Yeah. All right. That's it. So what is happening, everybody? Just like Chef had said, obviously, you can see what's on the screen. Something that, you know, we had talked about earlier is obviously that Traxxas Haas. 4x4 VXL 3S 60 plus horse. Oh, yeah, horsepower. 60 <laughs> plus miles per hour. I'll tell you, you know what's kind of cool? I do like the, um, I call it an Ollie. Some people are calling it oh, a, yeah. a hop. It's an Ollie. It's literally that. I want to try that now just because yeah, I, I'm seeing it on this. I, I kind of called it a bunny hop too. I was like, oh, crap, right. a bunny hop. You know what right, I mean? Right. That's right. kind of what it looks like. So let's see. I'm trying. Hello from Alaska. Oh, man. Big dog here in Alaska. Nice. We have a few things to talk about tonight, which I'm actually looking forward to it. Talking about all this stuff. There's a bunch of stuff happening. All right. Jump over there. Oh, Billy Bob's here. Billy Bob is here. I knew All it. Right, mods, keep your eyes open. Billy Bob's here. <laughs> so we already talked about this today. Um, obviously, you saw Tony did the same thing. Everybody's doing it. JT jumped on it. Um, I think what Gus, I think what Gus had pointed out was that basically it's the motor that's out of the max, right? Yeah, he said if you swap out the ESC. With right. the max one, you right. should be able to run 4S. Yeah. So that's pretty crazy. It, it's cool looking. Right. It, it definitely that. is. Yeah, it is. And I'm going with the it. going with the black chrome is nice, too, for the wheel set. Yeah, it's just yeah. the, the, the price know. of that it's, thing, man. It's because you're paying for that. You're yeah, paying three. For that. You're paying for that T. That T and a bunch of X's in it. Yeah. And you're paying for the warranty support that you get after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, for that price, you might as well just save a little extra money and wait and get a max. Right. Well, you know what? Mm. I am really not on board with the max like I was initially. 
Why is that? Uh, just seeing too much stuff happening. Even even the breakage that happened on my wife's. So just I don't know, man. You you, you take you take the price because the wonderment is where is this on the width level? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering how wide we are on this. Well, is there right is there specs? I think there is down at the bottom here. I did see specs. So we are at thirteen point ten inches for width. What's the wide max measure out to? Good question. Um, big muscle. If Gus was here, Gus would know. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Big muscle is overpriced. Of course it is. It, it's like it's, you, you can get a kaiju. Right. Right. I'm back. Sorry. All right, guys. We got a question. We got a question for you already. Do you know? <laughs> do you know how wide the wide max is? Because we've got the specs on the board for how wide the um, the hoss is. It's about 15 inches because it's pretty much the same width as a stock kaiju. Okay. Okay. So it's like two inches. Yeah. Different. So it, yeah, yeah. So we're talking 13 inches here. But so. what's the, but what's the ground clearance? On this. Yeah. 12, 12.75, almost three inches. I mean, I'm not 12 points, 2.75. No, yeah. I, 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 I shouldn't have just said it. I, I wasn't going to correct you, but I know. <laughs> ground clearance. It's got the most ground clearance of any RC. It sits at 8.3 inches high. Yeah, obviously from the ground to the roof, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm just trying to think about like how high the max was compared to this. Like right. what's going to handle? Yeah. Right. I, 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 I wasn't going to you, but I mean. Are you hearing that? Yeah. Uh, Gus, do you have your stream muted? Yeah. Because I'm just trying to think about like how high the max was. Compared to this, like, someone has a stream playing right now. Yeah, it's Gus. Yeah, I just Gus, you're now, Gus. Off the wrong volume. <laughs> <laughs> We're all. I'm like freaking out. Going is what? Did my microphone pop out or what, what's going on? Yeah, I clicked on the wrong volume. Riff Raff, what's going on, brother? Yeah, big muscle. He said it. He's like two of those trucks are more than an eight S X Max. Keep forgetting. The Max was worth it, Matt said. Yeah, I enjoyed my Max when I had it. The only reason why I got rid of it is because I needed room when I uh pre ordered the outcast. It's it's funny on, on my point of view i just i don't know i think um i forget somebody had asked me a question between the kaiju and the max and they were like well, what do you like better and i just said i hate to say it i like the kaiju better i mean and and the, the max is like twice the price when you're done with it you know, you know yeah, I, I just mean? i wish we lived nearby because i would love to run the kaiju right the kaiju is really awesome yeah i would like to get one but like I want to, I want to test it. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to play with it a little bit and just see. Because like me, just looking at it, I kind of think it looks. Eh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like, I mean, I, it's a Datsun body, so. Yeah, like I just it's boxing and stuff, which is fine. It's a truck, but I'm kind of just like, eh. But I would like to like test it out. Right. Mitchell, you don't have you the. You don't have a local hobby store that would uh, let you try one out? I can ask, but I don't know, man. Let's see. So what's the uh, what's that ne next vehicle that you were talking about that you want to get, Chef? Um, I want to get the TLR Truggy kit like i'm gonna get the whole kit and build it like the price is high but man that thing's gonna be sweet where do we find the price on that thing it's 6.99 oh for the kit ouch oh yeah but dude like 
I'm telling you right now, like, I, I'm going to plug in another channel, but like, go ahead. Bo to Gel, if you just go on Bo to Gel's channel, he's super into fifth scale. That's like, I always want the fifth scale, and I will start watching him, and that's when I got a fifth scale. Right. Like, he has the 4.0, which is one model before this one. Everything is stock. He has a super souped up motor on it. Yep. He jumped, and it's nitro, as it should be. And he, <laughs> he I love the little, I love the little <laughs> gap right there. Like, it's nitro. Like, hey. And he, he literally jumps buildings with it. He, I watch him slam it into things, horrible landings. He, he's never broken anything. And he's not the kind of guy that's like, oh, like, I didn't break it, but nothing. Like, he'll tell you if it's a piece of crap. Right. And, like, it, things, like, indestructible. And, like, my goal with this kit is to make a Nitro Truggy and make it the ultimate bashing Truggy. You know what I mean? I want it to be, like, indestructible, and I just want to beat the crap out of it. And I've always wanted one, and the 4.0 got discontinued, and i literally been waiting, like, a year and a half for this kit. And I almost bought the um, the buggy, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna wait. They had to release this truggy, and like I was just scrolling through Facebook one day, and they're like, oh, the truggy is coming out this month. So now with the <laughs> with the outcast and this, I gotta sell a kidney or something. Right. Yeah, that thing actually does look pretty crazy looking. Yeah, dude, and it it's cool too because. Normally, you either get the nitro kit or the electric kit. This I, comes with both motor mounts. You can either go nitro or electric if you want. Right. Like, Large so footprint nitro engine mount. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to go. I forget the name of the side. Which I, I wish I remembered. But they make custom. Like, they bore them out and, like, do all this work to them. And, like, you actually, like, email the guy and tell him, like, you're going to make it for bashing or you're going to do drag racing. And they... They literally like tune the motor to like the specifications you want, and that's it. By the time this is done, this is going to be well over a thousand dollar RC. Oh but, my god! <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be my ultimate. Like, I know it's a lot, but like, I literally this is something I've always wanted to do, and like right. now's the time to do it. Right. So. Yeah. But it's going to be my winter project. Winter project, right? Yeah. Winter project in the shed. Yep, of course. Ooh, could be cold in there. No, I got a heater. <laughs> You're not gonna insulate. That's what no, and that's what the sh that's what the fridge is for. It keeps you warm. <laughs> right, right. What's it? What's inside keeps you warm? Iced teas. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I could use a nice tea right now. Yes, yes sir. Yeah, this but, thing is pretty sweet. No, yeah, it's gonna be sick. And everything I've ever heard about, like the TLR kits. Like, because they make the Truggy, the 4.0 Truggy, not in the kit, the R2R version, but the arms aren't as beefy, the drive shafts aren't as beefy. Like, it's all dumbed down. Like, this literally comes, it's kind of like the um, Creighton EXB roller. Think of it that way. Like, it literally comes with all the upgraded parts that you don't have to upgrade. Right. Like, they're li it's literally going to be, it's going to be sweet. I'm so excited. What is this you're working on here? Uh, this is an old boat. My uh, old man, I remember running with my old man when I was younger, but he's still alive. I, I don't want to talk about it like some people like assume he's dead. But no, like I just have good memories running it with him. And uh, there's no electronics in it. It's completely empty. Right. So I'm going to start doing some research and get it back up and running. Probably throw a uh, brushless system in it or something. Uh, I don't know much about boats, so it's going to be a learning experience. Is that fiberglass? No, it's plastic, actually. It's plastic? Okay. Yeah. It was a kit, apparently, because you can right. see, like, he glued it all together and stuff where he needed to. Right, right. Um, but, yeah, I have a lot of good memories with it, so I'd like to get it up and running. From and my, know, right. From my memory, I had five glass boats when I was a kid, when I was oh, young. Really? Yeah, I lived right on a pond, and I had a couple of fiberglass RC boats. At least that's what I thought the material was when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. But uh, I told the story before, but it's now that we're live. Um, I remember the one time we were running this, and the prop fell off, and we used a fishing pole, and we had to try to hook it and reel it back in halfway across the lake. So when I eventually get this up and running, I'm going to bring my kayak with me because I have a feeling it's going to happen again because I don't know much about boats. Oh, it's always <laughs> always going to happen. You always bring a fishing rod or a boat or something when you oh, get yeah. a boat. <laughs> and I'm not much of a swimmer, so i got to uh, figure it out. 
You're not? Come on, guys. <laughs> no. Do I look like a swimmer? <laughs> Uh, I think the three of us don't look uh, very much like swimmers. Yeah. <laughs> Silent, thanks, man. It's actually uh, painted with uh, automotive paint, too. Right, right. So. so this right here is actually something I think that uh, Gus has been eyeing. <laughs> oh, man, dude, that thing's sweet, too. Someone someone had said, um, I forget who it was. It might have been Earl or, or Tony. Somebody was like, hey, that kind of looks like Big Black right there. You going to get that? And I was like... It's already pre-ordered, guys. <laughs> yeah, it almost looks like uh, like a, a Raptor or uh, the F-150. Right. Yep. Right. It's almost got like the Chevy lights. The grill kind of has that, you know, has that look of like the Raptor-ish kind of. It's it's definitely a, a sharp-looking truck, man. Well, yeah. Yeah, the only thing, I, I almost wish they had a different color. Like they only released it in one color. But right. I'll, that it's like you can get the clear body for this though right yep right what's up fog city how you doing man fogs here what's going on guy panda welcome sorry yeah. we were off on like a tangent yeah if i get that one uh um when that one shows up i should say since i already pre-ordered it i i'll have to do a uh, an earl version of the the red deck tree pole or something like that <laughs> just uh, <laughs> What's uh what's the price tag on that? Uh it's only three nineteen. Really? Yeah. C Traxxas. Three S. <laughs> right. <laughs> Every single one of their three S lines. Yeah. C Traxxas. Like honestly, this is I find this way more appealing than the three S Traxxas is right. I wish, out. Could, I wish we could get these these side by side here. If you shrink the windows down, you might be able to. Right. I don't know if I can open up a secondary window within a window. Do you know what I mean? Because oh, I, yeah. I already have the double windows going. Yeah. But, like, it just it mm -hmm. looks way meaner. It, right. Not, pr oh. Price aside, like, Definitely like forget does. about the price. Like, it looks meaner. It, it's. I have a feeling it's going to be tougher. But, yeah, if I had to pick, I'd definitely go with this one. Besides the price, it, like the, the yeah. Traxxas one looks more toyish. You know what I mean? It, but, yeah. You know what's funny? If somebody actually made that comment on the YouTube channel on the live that I had done, and they had basically said that that this truck looks more more toy than it does like what Armor is putting. Yeah, like Armor looks like they're putting out tanks. You know what I mean? Like, and they're putting out like toy tanks. You know. Right. Put the green one on for chef <laughs> yeah dude i love green green looks good on anything so we've got we've got that up against this yeah dude just night and day difference look at it like and they those look like jado shocks they probably are they're yeah. big they're bigger than like the the stampede, but I I would I bet you're right. But like, hold on, I have a Jado shop somewhere. Let me find it. Here it is. Like, doesn't that look like that shop? Yeah, that's pretty darn close. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's literally the same color. Like it, it's a little weird because of the light. It's even but, the plastic and everything. Yeah, it it literally looks like a Jado shock. Where's the red dot? Let's see. Does it have a red dot? Uh, the problem is to show. That's just the spring, right? <laughs> I know. I'm I'm it's, telling you, that's a that's a Jado shock. They're just spare parts. Yeah, so, but you know that's the comment that I made in the Facebook. Literally, what they did, Traxxas style, was they had a box of parts, and somebody said, you know what? We're dying here. Arma's killing us. Let's see if we can put something together. Honestly, like, I have a lot of Traxxas's or Trax. How would you say that? Plural? You said but, it um, fine. Traxxas. Um, <laughs> but Traxxas. I have, yeah, I have like older models, like, and I love, I like them a lot. I think they do shady stuff. And the Max, I thought I liked. I know you, you have different opinions on it, right. but like, they're just. Arma's, I think, gonna like steamroll them eventually. Right. 
Guy, is someone in the background right now? Yeah, but I'm not sure because he's not he's not connected. Okay. I th I think like either he has a bad signal or something. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, they have nothing connected. They have okay. no uh, no audio, uh, no mic, no camera. All right. <clears throat> yeah, Hawaii. There's a there's a bunch of trucks coming out actually. That's what we're all talking about. Oh yeah, Shade Tree. He needs GTRs. Yeah. And you know, within a, like a, two weeks after it releases, there are like new upgrade parts, you know, for the uh, hoss. That's the way Traxxas does it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're going to come out with the wide hoss. <laughs> yeah. The wide hoss and then the aluminum uh, parts. And Turnbuckles, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, they won't have to upgrade the axles, though, because the axles definitely do look beefier. Um, on this truck than on the Max. So granted, the, the pictures that I saw were computer renditions, so you don't really know what you're yeah. seeing. I, I can't seem to focus in any further than that, but the splines, when you look at the splines here, the splines definitely look like it's more of like a four-position spline than the multi-position ribs that I guess people are having major issues with, which, which I, I didn't. Mine just broke. Mine literally wide hoss, sixty dollar upgrade. <laughs> right, the wide hoss, you know it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bet uh, they'll probably have axle sets and everything else, and they're probably. I bet they're the way that thing is set up. It's the chassis is new compared to the Rustler, but it's like the same as the Rustler, except yeah. it, it's it's like almost like a stampede style. So it's kind of you. <sighs> It's the way Traxxas works. I can guarantee you there's going to be steel DVDs, um, you know, the whole works for that thing. I don't know. First, they're going to come out with new colors. Well, no, that's six months after when they when all the parts are out, they're like, new release. But they already new have the green cake. body. They already <laughs> got the green body out. So, so that means a blue one. <laughs> right. They're going to flop the colors. Yeah. They need the calico one, like your X Max. Yes, yes. <laughs> Rock and roll, right? Yeah, yep, yep. They bad. You know, I don't know. They don't do that with a lot of vehicles. They do. It seems like with special ones, like uh, the other one that's in that rock and roll color is the, uh, which obviously you can't get anymore. Was their uh, the Rustler their, their top, their top fuel car too? Oh yeah, yep, yep. I forgot about that one. Yep. Uh. Guy, uh, Robbie's RC asked if you check your message. You can show it if you want. So I check my message. I don't know what that means. Yeah, Riff, I was saying the same thing about the Kaju. Well, honestly, I'd get the Arma. If I had to pick between the Hoss and the new the Arma uh, coming out, I'd get Arma. Besides price. Just, like, Honestly, I like the old school flames. Yeah, the uh, according to Arma, the, the new Forest line is supposed to be even better. I mean, you have to think they basically took the Prius line or Forest line and turned it into the Prius line, plus improved chassis. So when their Forest line comes out, what is that going to be? I mean, are they actually going to have like metal dips and all that kind of stuff in there for four hundred bucks? I mean, that's that should be a really good deal. Yeah. And you were saying that you like the scent in yourself. Yes, I do. I really like it. Now, do you have one or did you have one? Um, I actually did have the the technically version one. Um, they really didn't have a version two. They kind of upgraded a little bit, but I did have a version one. And they, they're, if you can say, basically it's the same thing as a slash. And honestly, from my opinion, from owning both of them, I mean, it's almost a hundred dollars cheaper. And it's, what? you know, it's basically the Traxxas thing. You know, it's the armors are still cheaper and they're better. You're missing the T, right? Yeah. yeah you missing that Traxxas name. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Is so. What would be your thought now? How far would you recommend someone getting one of these? Because <clears throat> I. 
been looking at this and the more I see it and the more I've been thinking about how much I like my Mojave, granted, this is obviously a small version. I just, I don't know. It looks, I almost feel like I want to get it just because if it handles or has the same characteristics, I didn't even know it had a wheelie bar integrated into the bumper. That's pretty cool. Oh, what? Yeah. It's a wheelie bar. Oh, you go. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I didn't oh, understand you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I know. I, I say it the other way a couple of times. I have a full, you have a fully built low Z18 Nitro. That's awesome. Keep Nitro alive, baby. But the I've just never been into like a stadium truck. Kind you know of what? I've, I've, I've actually never been either. But the difference is, is when you drive that Mojave and you, what it takes, the body protects the truck so much. It's it insane. does. It, it, that's a huge benefit of benefit of like the um, short course trucks. The bumpers are huge on the front and back. It, yeah. it, you know, it, it, deflect so much damage plus the body when you come down it hits the body and set it on the side instead of just the tires right? yeah but they do have you know of course when you jump them the body is so big it acts like a parachute so the, you know there's pluses and negatives to both of them but it, i'm talking about right there yes nitro all day all the way you see that guys yeah i see that nitro sucks I, 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 no, I see nitro all the way you see What's that? that? What's I that? See, no, I, I see, see one. That. I have one electric truck here right now. RC Mass right no, here. two. Electric is the future. <laughs> no. Get out of here. Who are you, Elon Musk? Get out of here. <laughs> hey, I have a truck, baby. Actually, the um, the the uh, Tesla sports car there beat out the uh, Bugatti. Uh, what is that? Uh, they just Can't don't sound as cool, man. Yeah, I know, but you need that. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, if it's fast as heck, who really cares what it sounds like? You know, if, right. it, if you hit the gas and you, you're not, you, right? But you're, you're not hitting the gas. You're hitting a button. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> hitting the pressure switch. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. You can't like the initial punch of electric. Like you're. The tighter it's you just grip, on or off, you know. It goes. Hey, I get, yeah. I get what you're saying, Jeff. I would prefer something that actually makes noise, but at the same time, if it's one of those that sets you back in the seat, it's like I wouldn't care what it had. It had Mike in it. Oh, yeah. RC six, what's going on? There's a guy that comes to the restaurant all the time on an electric motorcycle, and it blows my mind. <laughs> like he, pulls, he like pulls up. I'm like, because I'm so used to like blah 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 blah. Well, you know, like while I'm on a bike, and it's just like. He pulls up and just like, and he just stops. I'm like, Ugh. Just, Ugh. get away from me. <laughs> there you go, Jeff, right there. We we have a bunch of guys like that around town. Um, where it used to be, there was all these uh, younger guys who would uh, take like the the GY06 uh, scooters and mod them up, you know, with like the pipes and all that, and cruise around town and stuff. And now the cool thing is to hop up these electric ones. So they come by my house, and I was like. It didn't make no noise. What's going on, you know? <laughs> but it's uh, I still prefer the loud ones, especially. I'll tell you, I, I'm I'm with you, man. Like nitro and electric, I like them both. I really do. I just like I just like messing with these guys because our especially guy, he's all about oh, the electric. Hey, we <laughs> love messing right back. <laughs> but I, anything RC, man, it's great. Look up the fastest RC Nitro car. I can't even remember. I think it's like 189 miles an hour or something like that. It's insane. I need to get the Jado drag bug out. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully I get back from that thing I told you guys I have to go to tomorrow in enough time to get that out. I could turn my drag bug into a uh, back into stock again. Oh, did you? 
Yeah. Just saw my kids had something to drive. They really like the black oak. I don't know why, but they, they just love it. You want earplugs with nitro? No. No. Mass master, you, you need to soak that in. You need to feel it. <laughs> it's how your beard grows. You just hear, hear it. It's great. The only thing, honestly, there's there's two different advances. Like electric has more torque, but at the same time, uh, nitro it has the sound. So you know it's kind of a, a both ways. Yeah. And the run times. Exactly. Like I can run the nitro literally almost all day. Yeah. Like I I can put a 1200 mAh nickel metal hard drive battery in there for my servos, and I can literally run for hours. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, do you have to tune it? Yeah, but like, but that's if you, like you just take care of them, man, and like you can run them for ever. Like in the snow and stuff, yeah, it's crappy. You know, like you gotta really finagle with it. But like, yeah, but, plus the air filter and everything, and yeah. But at the same time, you know, it gives you something to mess with. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I said it multiple times on stream, like. I feel like I love electric too, but I really love nitro. And like, I feel like electric takes some of the hobby out of the hobby. Like, with a nitro, you got to tune it. You got to do a little bit more tinkering to get it going. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. electric, you put a battery in. If your motor's good, it's gonna go. You know? I I love it all though. I do because that's why I pre-ordered the the new Outcast. <laughs> Yeah, plus it's, you know, it's kind of the same thing between, like, uh, fuel injected or carburetor. Carburetor, yeah. Yeah. Some of us guys like carburetor just because of the fact that you get to tinker with it. Yeah. That's what I like about my Camaro, and that's also why I like the Trans Am, because the Trans Am, you don't have to do anything to. The Camaro, I'm solid lifter, so I'm adjusting those valves. Oh, yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, it's like... There's a big difference, and it also does not weather like weather like today right now. So I've got a hot and humid day, and the Camaro hates this weather. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, you either got to deal with it or tune it again that day. Right. You just deal with it. You just have your foot ready. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it is. Just have your foot ready at a stoplight. You say, Keith, you say it's messing sand sticks to anything with fuel. Well, you shouldn't have that much fuel everywhere. You should have some on your exhaust. You know what used to kill it for me is flying my planes because of balsa wood. If you had a scar on one of the wings, like meaning a scar is when you've got a scratch through the uh, Monaco and you don't realize it. The only way you realize it is run after run after run, and then all of a sudden – the plane is flying sideways and you're constantly checking trim and you're like, why is the plane tilted to the side now? <laughs> because the wing got saturated with fuel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the clean the cleanup for me, it, it that does I hated that when it came to planes. Because trying to well, take yeah. that stuff off your wings and your plane, it's just like man. But the, I've never had that issue. I'm not I don't have the yeah. hand eye coordination to fly. Yeah. But with the the trucks, I literally get the old the fuel yeah. out. Handles a knife and you don't have hand to eye coordination? No. Oh God. It's all focused on doing the stuff I need to do for work. Everything else is kind of just like, just wing it. <laughs> no hand to eye coordination. It's just a different kind of hand to eye Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. We got 53, 53 viewers and 18 likes. Hit that like button, people. Right. Smash, Smash that button. I know I can be out there. You're fine. What? I'm just because I'm right here. You're fine. <laughs> She's like right out the wind, right out the door, right there. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say that's not mine. That's that's Chef. <laughs> He's got the frogs going there. <laughs> really loud frogs. Hey. Are you feeding the frog up there or something? Oh, yeah, of course. Always. <laughs> Those things are loud. <laughs> well, they're actually, uh, it's, there's a bunch of cicadas, and um, they're like crickets. I, I, 
I have a bunch of woods behind me. So there's all kinds of stuff out there. So if you guys are looking for an RC stand, I recommend this one, by the way. Vince Vargas has a question for Gus here, but I don't think he's saying anything. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Any point there. Where'd it go? Gus, any plans on building another 6x6? Six six? Red Cat, please. Yes, I do. Uh, tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be, but uh, um, I actually got rid of my last one. And the main reason is I can't afford to have multiple 6x6s. Six but uh, my plan is actually to build the, uh, hopefully, if uh, everything works out, to build the, uh, uh, what do you call it? I can't believe I can't think of it right now. Oh, uh, maximum destruction, uh, six by oh, six. That'd be wow. sick. Yeah, I have the goblin head on the front and everything. That's my plan for my next six by six. You mean maximum overdrive? Maximum overdrive. See, I can't even. <laughs> well, I'm thinking like Max D. I started thinking about Max D, and I'm like, Max D is a six by six, huh? That's gonna be different looking. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> I know I know what it is when people tell me, but when I try to recall it, it's kind of like uh, maximum something or other. <laughs> I'm really liking that uh, arm of monster truck, man. Yeah, the big rock. Yeah. yeah. So this is coming. Also, we've got um, oh, here I am. Here we are talking about stuff. I forgot about the uh, the low C laser nut. Oh yeah. I don't I I don't know what that is. So. Have you been under a rock or something? Uh, work. <laughs> I, mean, this work? I, li I literally just stopped looking at stuff as soon as they said the TLR truggy kit was coming out. So. <laughs> what if I just type in Losey? Maybe that'll work. Yeah, Tony did a fantastic video on that thing. Yeah, he did. He really did. Yep. Like the the like forgiveness of the suspension and everything when he was like coming off a, a jump this way and hitting a face and then it just kind of planted everything. Oh, it was really, it was just awesome. Riff, uh, riff raff. Yeah. I, I respect that. What, what's Riff saying? He's saying he, he, uh, he admires nitro and gas guys. He can't oh, deal yeah. with all the extra hassle, right. which I understand why people don't do it anymore. It's just, it's just something I like, you know, cause I like working on full size trucks, but that's way more money than this. Like, yeah, there's a lot of money in this, but like, I can like go out and get some parts and like tinker with it. Like to go out and rebuild my motor on my '86 Chevy is gonna be way more money. Oh yeah, yeah, you can buy two fifth scales for what it costs to rebuild yeah, your motor. Exactly, exactly. Which really? I'm actually gonna start working on that truck soon. But. This is your laser nut right here. That's the real one. That's sick looking. Yeah. That's obviously the real, and here's your RC right there. Yeah, and the best part about it is it's got the DB Pro uh, setup basically, but they changed the to a lower kilovolt motor with like bigger uh, the the 4S instead of 3S. Right, stretched it out. It's a little bit longer, a little bit taller. Yep. Yep. I'm liking the wheels too. Definitely liking that bronze look on the wheels. Definitely is a cool looking rig. On 4S, uh, did, did uh, Tony do a max speed yet? No, he did not. I'm curious to know. I think it's cool, man. Yeah. It definitely is more of that rock racer look. Yeah, that's what I thought when I first seen it. Except it moves. I'm going to bet it's got to do close to 50. Right. Look at that thing. Uh, Gus, Vince wants to know. Uh, what about building one for a customer? What's that? Well, uh, Gu he said, Gus, what about building one for a customer? Want one just like the one you built? Kicking myself for not planning ahead on that one. Um, I would do it. Um, basically, you know, I would ha I need, would need uh, the hours it would take me to put it together, plus, you know, the cost because it's essentially two two trucks in order to make – you know, to make uh, six by six. There's it's got two transfer cases in it, five drive shafts. You know, so basically, I would do it. Is this now? Is this is this based off of a Red Cat platform or is this custom? Yeah, yeah based it, off of Red Cat. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's based off of Red Cat, but I, it's uh, my own custom chassis, my right. own like whole setup. But it works really good. Right. That was actually what. Um, that was the first um, picture I think Mets sent me. Yeah. Was that truck? And he was like, "You've got to check this guy out." And that, that's literally how you, you came on the channel because it was like you had that and it was just like, who's this guy? And 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 now you are who you are. You're our creator. <laughs> Slash finder of information. <laughs> this stuff wasn't mine how, how fast you find stuff. <laughs> right. I'm the nerd of the group. <laughs> I think the first thing that I am going to figure out on this once I get mine is getting rid of that spare tire and putting a wing on the back. Yeah, I don't care for that spare tire either. Well, uh, the way it's bouncing around and causing the rear end to constantly tag, I didn't like that. So I saw, if you watch Harley Designs video, so obviously the, the, the difference between Harley and Tony was Tony's very cinematic. Tony's, you know, he's video. Harley is... You know this. He's scale. He's he's you know his mouth was watering talking about the laser nut, and when you saw the difference between the driving, when Harley was driving it, it was just a lot of what I would call B and C roll, where Tony was A roll. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a lot of times, man, that tail end, no matter where Harley was, was tagging the rear end. It was just like that. That tie is gonna go. If you want this thing to really perform, and then somebody brought up, well, you know, the back shocks. Are yeah, but that's just tuning. You can yeah. you can figure that out and throw a wing on it, and and the thing is going to be awesome. Yeah, and like all of those, uh, they like to put a, a spare tire on there, but in an RC, do you really need a spare tire? No. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's the scale. Yep, yeah, it's actually right. great that you don't need. And right. from, I would have took it off right away when I got it. Oh right. yeah, that's as soon as it comes in, it's coming off. Yep. Uh, Gus, Mass Master asked, uh, "Why don't you drive Mater in reverse in that video?" Because he doesn't have reverse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. No. It's gas powered. He don't need reverse. Right. Yes, sir. Right. It's like the old big scale quarter scales. There was no such thing as reverse. Yep. It was all forward. My jackrabbit was, oh, man, I had some fun with that jackrabbit. That thing was awesome. But, man, trying to put that in the back of a Trans Am was a joke. <laughs> I wish my DBXL two-stroke had reverse. I've gotten that stuck in, like, trees and stuff. I'm like, uh, I have to go walk and get it. Yep. Yeah, we were actually uh, – oh, uh, baby. I what's up, Earl? How you doing? <laughs> Earl, what's going on, guy? Earl, but yeah, we had the uh, uh, Mater stuck a couple times where he doesn't have reverse, and I was pulling the trailer around. I should record it. We're picking up brush and stuff, and uh, you end up trying to make a corner, and you end up in my woods because, of course, I'm surrounded by woods, and so it'd be nice. But did you? <laughs> now you are going to put together a video of Mater driving you around, right? Yes. Nice. Yes, that I needs to come. And we, like, we were talking about that for a while. I want to see like the umbrella, the cooler, the seat. I <laughs> yeah, I'm, like I just want you like, chilling. I want to see like the whole thing. Like I, I, I don't, I don't want to see you using the controller. I want like someone else driving, oh, and you're no. just sitting up, just chilling with like a sandwich, just hanging. You will out. never, you will never see Gus again if that happens. <laughs> And my son like, hey, Dad, you want to go on a jump? <laughs> he, me and my son were actually playing with that, and he's like, "Well, I can drive it when you go, you know, go get the mail." And I was like, uh, <laughs> "Not, we're not going anywhere near the street, kid." Yeah, <laughs> especially I live right on a through road, you know, and it's like Ooh. the bypass around town. And it's like there's a lot of traffic. I'd be yeah, kind of and when people go down your road, that that's they're flying. That's yeah. that's a pretty quick road. Yeah, 55 miles an hour is a speed limit past that. Right. Oh man! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, man, that thing is sick looking. Yeah, you know it's it's. I'm I'm definitely glad that that. 
because with the like with the TT, that was something that, you know. A couple people had said, you know, well, you got the um, you got the Tenacity Pro. How come you're not buying the TT? That just came out. And it's like because it's the same thing. It's yeah. the exact same thing. It's not. We aren't talking. You know, some changes. The only thing they changed was the rear cage to put the body on. It's like it's it's the DV Pro, but this is obviously different. Now I'm really, I'm really curious to know. How much different is it? Like, does it still retain the same arms? Is it the same, you know what I mean? Like same shocks, you know, what really, really changed other than just taking it and stretching it, throwing an aluminum center diff in it, giving it longer dog bones, you know what I mean? Or drive shafts, whatever you want to call it. What, what is really, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's really different? I, I want to see that side by side. I would say based on performance, it can't be too much different because it really handles good. Right, right. I mean, it depends on your type of driving. Like if you're looking for a rock crawler, like a lot of guys will say, oh, it's, you know, it's a scale ultra four. They're looking for rock crawler. I wouldn't recommend it for that, of course. But right. but the way Tony ran it, I mean, that thing, it handled really good. Right, right. Harley kind of did a similar thing, but Tony definitely did it different. Oh, yeah. Tony definitely did it different. What? What? I know. I know. I'll I'll let you in. Uh, cr crazy man. I guess. Uh, he wants to know what do we think about Pro Line being bought by Horizon. There's a bug on my TV. Actually, uh, ProLine was actually, uh, their website said they were actually owned by Horizon for probably almost a year now. Really? Yeah. I'm guessing it's probably just finalized or whatever, and that's why they announced it. But on the yeah. their website, it said uh, our Horizon Hobby uh, affiliate, or, or uh, not affiliate, but something like that. I, honestly, I don't think it's going to change anything too much. It's not like because, like Proline, like I said, I don't think that's really going to change much at all. Like, yeah, Horizon's slowly buying up all the companies, which is kind of eh. But like, I think Proline's still going to be Proline. I think they're still going to make the same products. Yeah, it, I think will just because of the fact they're kind of uh, you know aftermarket parts and stuff. Maybe they might get a little bonus compared to other companies, which is, you know, kind of a good thing. You know, they'll get like uh, specifics or whatever from like Horizon to be like, okay, this is how to, you know, the measurements for the arm of whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. It's the only time it really bothers me when they buy stuff is like when they buy like Teller Hobbies or they buy like other distributors distributors you know because it's kind of like okay yeah. well we're not going to sell any of the other brands anymore but here here's some horizon stuff yeah exactly yeah that's i, I agree with you on that 100 percent. and it has nothing to do with whatever they offer and stuff like that you know it's just about it's nice to have the option to be like well yeah these are nice but i'd like to buy something else but not, yeah you know and then it's like but where do you go? You know, if they own all the retailers, and it, you know, it also it also affects sales. Like, yeah. like you might be like, they, they have nobody to compete against, so the sales won't be as good. Yeah, like you're like, oh, this place has it for twenty five. Well, this one has it for thirty percent off. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're gonna be like, this is the price, and this is the only place you can get it from. So you're kind of just selling this one. Yep. Yeah, that yeah, that's for sure. Like competition is good. Oh yeah. Well, it may, competition is not good for them, but it's good for us. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like as a consumer. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, what are we talking about? The the acquisition, the new acquisition. Yeah. Yeah, we basically said that Proline uh, buying Proline is probably a good thing. You know, there's other things that can or it for us as consumers might not be great, but as far as them buying Proline, you know, it, it's probably actually a better thing just because of you know, better bodies for like the, the specific models or whatever. Right. Yes. 
Yeah. Good for them, maybe not so much for us. But then again, who knows? Maybe it really will be. We don't know. Yeah. I will say what was funny was uh, my LHS. He was he was actually in the which I don't know why it happened this way, but he was in the midst of trying to get direct from Proline himself, and I guess things were going good, and he's not going to be happy now. Now, because he's he's gonna be dealing with Horizon now. Yeah, that yeah, that's a whole different story. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, poor guy. Why is there so much play? What you talking about? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm looking at the. Uh, I'm sorry, I was talking to myself. Um, I'm I'm looking at the uh, drag bug because I want to run this tomorrow, hopefully, and. Uh, Dude, that thing looks sick. It's a Jado. Like, uh, but the, but it, Matt it's, the back. It's, it's because of this right here. You yeah, see that? You see dude. that right there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are actually pro lines. Yeah, these are pro line uh, drag tires. But um, yeah, I'm having like a. There's a lot of play in the right uh, front tire. Because I'm planning on trying to get. Get this to go as fast as possible, obviously, and I feel like that's gonna uh, really mess me up. What? A little tire wobble will be fine. Oh yeah, it'll be go faster and it will straighten out. It looks like the several sabers loose. Faster you go, the more it'll straighten out. Gyroscopic <laughs> force. Gyroscopic force. Sorry. Well, I'm using, and it's one of those old school AM antennas. Uh. uh transmitter so i'm gonna have like a four foot antenna i focus yeah it's budget man I'm trying to keep it as budget friendly as possible that's what i had laying around you are wine bagging because you wanted to come in and now you're wine bagging because you're in my dog she was wine bagging because she wanted to come in now that she's in now she's over there wine bagging <laughs> my dog is anything <laughs> does anybody know why Tower Hobbies doesn't carry Traxxas anymore? Because they're owned by Horizon. Right. Oh, they are. All right. Yep. I forgot about that. Yeah. That must have been a nice scenario. Just take just take Traxxas and just shovel them right out of there. Yeah. It makes me kind of sad, though, because I actually bought my first Traxxas from uh, Tower Hobby in 1988. Oh, really? Believe it you or know not. You want to hear something funny, Gus? I was born in 1988. <laughs> how long? How long has Tower Hobbies been around? Oh my God! Uh, I think 82. I think. Jeez. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, family company the entire time actually, and that's why I always went to Tower Hobbies when I bought stuff. I seen a uh, a cool little documentary on a Losi. Um, they went and talked to the family and stuff before they were bought by Horizon. And uh, they talked about, like, how they started and how they were competing with other brands and, like, stuff like that. And it was it was a pretty cool documentary. I found it on YouTube one day. So, wait a minute. So, obviously, then Pep Boys is not owned by Horizon then. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pep Boys sells her uh, Traxxas. I think God uh, doesn't um... – doesn't like AutoZone sell Praxis as well? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'll my see. local one. I walked in the back and they had like a uh, stampede just sitting on the shelf. I was like, <laughs> what? What? I said, you guys have glow plugs? Right. What's crazy is is uh, the Losi guy, the original guy who started Losi, actually has been uh, big into racing uh, electric drag cars. Yeah, I've seen that. I think they touched on that in that documentary I watched. Yep. Yeah, that's his thing now. Is he races electric drag cars? Yeah, it was a, it was really cool. I, if I can find it, I'll uh, link it in the Facebook group. But um, electric. <laughs> yeah, I said he was saying it's very cool. I heard the words come out of his mouth. I told you yeah. I like electric too, but nitro's where it's at, guys. All right. Yeah, yeah. Keep breathing in those fumes. <laughs> you got to man it up a little bit sometimes, all right? I, I do that in my truck. Yeah. So <laughs> Sometimes more work is more fun. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. <laughs> I like that one. That one was good. <laughs> 61 people watching. 
That's and crazy. Twenty nine likes. Come on, people. Come on. Drop the like button. Get those thumbs ups, man. You know what it is. People just keep going in and out, in and out. They come in because they saw what the title was. Oh man, they're talking about some good stuff, new releases. Oh, this is all old stuff. What, what are yeah. they doing? Nothing new here. Then we need to refer them to your previous video that actually has the new stuff in it. <laughs> right. The link is in the description. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> what else is new? Talk too much. There we go. Now I'm seeing the lights go up. Up to 32. Woo. Good stuff, guys. Good coming, guys. So people were wondering where they were getting that 60 miles per hour from obviously this um, truck right here. And that's obviously pushing the thing to within an inch of its life. Oh, yeah. You know, a 23 tooth pinion and a 50 spur. Black I, only. What I do want to know is see how small those little stars are? Why are those small stars? Why are those stuff so small compared to the other ones right next to it? I can't see it. It's not on the yeah. screen, guy. Huh? I can't see it. It's not on the screen. Oh, nice. <laughs> right there. <laughs> there you go. Those right there, 2350. Why are those little asterisks that small compared to the ones that are next to it? It's because they want people to assume it's going to do that out of the box and then be like, oh, you got to buy this part. Didn't you see the little star? Special ones that says may result in fire. Yeah. <laughs> Because whenever you see those little marks, there's supposed to be something right there. Optional gearing, right? See your hobby dealer. But those stars are a different size, so I think they mean something else. Because 60 miles per hour, that thing would be nuts. That would be insane if you can do that. that. That means 60 miles per hour if you can't read. So you don't see the little dots, and that's why they're <laughs> right. Look at it. If somebody would just glaze right over that. They're like, "Oh wow, sixty, nice." Yeah, that's that, that's why they do that. Yeah, that's why. Right. That's why it's on the box. It says sixty plus. Not out of the box. It's just it has the capability right there, sixty plus. It's like the e Revo two point oh says uh, seventy oh, on geez. the box, right. but you you need gearing. You need to get the gearing for it. I want to know what the gearing is in the truck that they're driving on the skate park. Because that thing was that thing got some pretty good height. Yeah, it does. It did. I'm going to guess it's not the 1454 or whatever, like the 40 plus miles an hour, whatever they called it. That's that's also with a uh, 6S PSC. <laughs> yeah, has a 8, uh, 8S Max set, set up in it. Boy. It's got a castle set up in it. Yeah. It's got Earl 1717 motor in it. I might be wrong, but didn't the original X Max have a castle system in it? Yes. yes. Actually, Traxxas ran uh, castle ESCs until probably uh, about six, six or seven years ago. Right. And now, Castle and now Traxxas is wishing that Castle was still there with them. Yep. Castle right now is really, really, really killing it. As far as, I guess, their new motors, Earl has been super impressed, especially with that 1717 motor that they just came out with. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know if I like that one. Everybody I've seen, they've had heat issues with it. Yes, them. because of what they're doing with it, because yeah. of what it's designed to do. Right. But throw a fan on it, and you're good. Yeah. I would say a scale is probably pretty good, but I've seen some people throw it into, like, the uh, – the eight and stuff, and I think for that, it's a little bit of a small size. Right. I'm actually curious to know if that's something that's going to fit in the X Max. It should. You know. Yeah, we'll see why not. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find out tomorrow. Uh -oh. I think I think the stock X Max motor actually is like a 1600 kilovolt, so I think it would be pretty close. Right. Is it sad that I still want an X Max? Even though I'm getting the the outcast. No, it's I, not. It's really I, not. I still want one too. You know, they're just like a they're kind of a different beast, you know. It's, yeah, exactly. My X Max is still sitting in the pile between <laughs> four like it's a pile. Between the four <laughs> of the dining room and the whole dining room uh, table is all bots. 
Because you were just disgusted with it, just threw it in the house. <laughs> but I was just like, because I can't believe what they want me to send them. They no, I agree. I, like, dude, I find that so crazy. I've never had an issue with them. With right. that. I think crazy. the attitude. Attitude part, I think, is what killed it for me when the guy said, just throw it in a $6 box and send it to us. And I was just yeah. like, and I'm like, well, what about insurance? Yeah, that would probably be wise. I'm like, wow, you're having a bad day. Yeah, maybe I mean, you just had a crappy guy because I've never had an issue with them. And they sent me a battery after a year. I was like, this should have died as fast. All right, we'll send you a new one. Like, they I'm, never. I've got to tell you, it's got to have something to do with this pandemic and maybe them not. They're not getting the currency I think that they used to, and I think I think they're cracking down because they're they got the big head syndrome. You know what I mean? It's like they're they're massive and they also have massive bills. Those bills don't start stop coming in. They can't yeah, just sure. they can't just shut seventy five percent of the lights off. You know, in their factories just because you know it just yeah. doesn't work that way. They still have to pay their mortgages. They still have to pay for all their employee Porsches and, or, yeah. or, or wait a minute, the Teslas. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, because I, I, when I called, I talked to a Zach, and then after that, I, I was talking to Earl, and I was just like, guy, I'm like, I can't believe how they were. And he was like, you've got to call back. Maybe you just got the wrong guy. Yeah, and like Earl, guy, Earl just right. said that he was shocked too. Like, right, right. And he was saying, call him back because you might have got just a guy with just a bad, whatever, bad attitude. Attitude, yeah. Like, because I've never back, had an issue with him. Called back, it was the same exact response. You really? Could, you could yeah. be great, though, with that, uh, with, it, with everything's going on. I can guarantee you they're hurting. Right. Because, I mean, even though they are huge, I mean, if you consider Horizon owning how much of, you know, 80% supposedly of the market. Right. You know, they're, they're probably hurting a little bit right now. Yeah. Yeah, but you take care of the customers. So really? I really spent the now money. Is that, is that before or after ProLine? Um, I would say probably before. Man. <laughs> is getting pounded right now. They really are. They need to step up the game because that hoss is cute, but they need they to like redesign something. They stepped right. it up right here, guy. No, that's cute. All right. They need something to be like, wow. All right. If they're back. For me, the thing I really like it, but honestly, it's basically uh upgraded like uh wrestler or stampede chassis. I mean, yes, it's new, but it's still upgraded. It well, should, it shouldn't be over four hundred dollars. Right. Well, let's put it this way. Yeah, it's either gonna it's either gonna be this Friday or this Saturday. I'm actually gonna find out. Yeah. So we could be wrong. It could be way better than what we think. Right. I am going to get, because I'm obviously going to talk to you, Gus, off camera, but um, I am going to get some details on this truck. Like, I'm going to bring a microscope if you want so, so I can get some real good shots of this truck. Um, I'm going to do a whole video thing on it and everything. Pictures. I'm going to tear it apart. It's going to basically just take a brand new truck and just kind of almost disassemble it so that should be this friday or saturday so i look at it this way you know if, if it's one of those that you can beat the crap out of and it holds up good like the max the right. extra price you know is is almost worth it right i mean the yeah if it's that tough yeah yeah because the tracks this are pretty tough i mean yeah I, I agree. anyway well, you know what I've what I what I've said. Like uh, some people have asked, you know, like how much can you beat a vehicle? And what I've said is, go to the manufacturer's website. If if you should be able to do everything that you see that's on the manufacturer's website, if you want a good gauge of what the truck should do, there you go. Yeah. Don't, don't go watch, you know, Duper Dash and all that stuff because not everybody can send, you know, a vehicle, you know, five thousand yards and survive. <laughs> I would love to, but I have no I have no place to even take anything like right. Right. You know I mean? right. Even that even that place that I that I took the uh all three, the 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 X Max, the Mojave and the um D B Pro, there's not enough room there to even get you know, there's, there's there's actually not enough room there to even get speed hits. No. You know, it's crazy. There's, yeah, you like to do like the duper bash or the RC guy or eighty one or whatever the heck his name RC dude eighty one. Oh god! But you, 
you have to get like, you know, my oh, they have probably half a mile of run up in order before they hit them jumps. So they're doing sixty miles an hour, you know. Right. Yeah, they're ripping. They got top speed, right? Yeah. And I think it's I think it is I think it is RC Dude eighty one that brings his own ramp yep. in his truck, right? Yeah. And that's that's a nice ramp. Like that that is literally tuned. That's a nicely curved ramp to get maximum height and distance. Oh yeah. yeah. But watching this on the skate park though, yeah, man, that's, it's, that's that's actually good. That that you know makes your mouth water right there. <laughs> and right there, the way it's acting is it look it's looking like an X Max in those couple of pictures right back there. So, so are you are you getting it, guy? Or yeah, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta try it. I mean, else, it's worth the views. Plus, right, you know. right. And if I really don't like it, get rid of it. Yep. Well, plus, well let me know. Get, I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. Oh my god! <laughs> the best thing about buying something like right when they come out is if you don't like it, you put it on eBay. More than likely, they're going to be sold out everywhere. You oh yeah. eBay, right. you'll get a new price for it. Right. I do that with the Outcast, so I can get my kit. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> why don't you just part it out <laughs> imagine how much money you can make you uh, have, I, I you could just sell the whole the truck parts. to Larry because you know, we all know he's going to break it yeah, you would just have all the parts just sell each individual part to Larry as he breaks it Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make two to three times the money oh yeah exactly Traxxas needs big muscles saying Traxxas needs a new e, uh, an 8S e Revo. That would be sick. I, honestly, I would pre-order that. Right. Because I'm a huge Revo guy. Like, I love the Revo platform. If they made an 8S Revo, sold. I'm getting it. From from what I heard from my hobby shop, well, granted, they might not know which box, but they said this one, there's supposed to be two more coming this year. Really? They said one of them is essentially uh, – uh, ADS Revo. If, really? if they if they release an ADS Revo, I'm 100% getting it. Because I had the 2.0 Revo. I told you guys I had to sell it because I came across some hard times and stuff. I never even ran it. It's brand new. And uh, I had to get rid of it. But if they release an ADS, that's what I'm holding out. I thought about buying one the other day. Yep. And then uh, I was like, you know what? I have a feeling they'll release a bigger one. Because if they release an ADS, I'm done. I'm getting it. Yeah, because basically the X Max is awesome, but it handles for shit. It's yeah, exactly. Part, it's part of my language, but you know, like the the it's great for tricks and stuff, but it's kind of like the the Max versus the Revo uh, two point two. You know, it's it doesn't have the the handling where the Revo. I mean, it's just the Revo is a great platform, man. Yes, they handle really good. They have one weakness, and that is the fact that they put the um, they run the same front and rear uh, link arms. Link arms. There you go. And that mm -hmm. break off all the time. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, they're a great truck. I think uh, didn't Kevin Talbot come across a link arm that finally worked for him, like end links or something? I can't remember. Yeah, are you talking? Are you talking about the arms in the back that always break? Yeah. 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 I have uh, on this Revo right here. Yeah, I think they have an aluminum uh, link end on them instead of the plastic. Are you talking about? There's normally an, an arm back here that goes across the back. Yep. The back here. Yes. Yeah, this is a RPM makes a, a part. It's called the uh, True Track Kit. It, it, it eliminates that bar. Really? So that bar is not there anymore. Yeah, that's all my Revos run that. Because uh, I used to break them all the time. So it's called the uh, True Track Kit. Uh, I think they just released one for the 2.0 Revo. Because really? when I when I had one, I wanted to get one for the Revo for the electric, but they didn't have them out yet. They had them for the original E Revo and not the 2.0 yet. And I think they have it for the 2.0. Don't quote me because I don't have it anymore. But yeah, all my nitro because I have multiple nitro Revos, and uh, they all run the True Track in the back. They they sell them for the T Max too because the T Max has that issue. Are you saying that you know that RPM like? Made a new part for the 2.0 and you didn't put it on the website. Nice. I, I told you, don't quote me. I don't know if it actually <laughs> came out. They were in talks of making it. I think that it, it might be out by now. It's been so long. 
I would guess so because it's been about a year since the, the 2.0 came out. I would think. Yeah, but yeah, I swear. Like as soon as I took those uh, those arms off in the back, those metal rods, uh, they look like push rods, but they're not. They're just to, to, for the toe. Yeah, I I haven't broke it since. Like they're great. Yeah, it's called the true. If you guys are looking for it, it's called the true track. True, true track, right? True track. Yeah. It's an Arma true track, right? That was yeah, Arma. No track. I mean, uh, I mean. Uh, RPM. RPM. Yeah, RPM True Track. I swear, I love RPM parts. If they T R U T R U T R A C K. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm asking I, you how to spell. Know nice. Yeah, you don't ask me how to spell. You put me in the kitchen, I'll be all right. Is a True Track for Tracks Revo. That's the one that you've got, right? Yeah. Um. You ha you probably have to go on RPM's website. Right. Well, I swear by RPM parts, and they stopped making Savage RPM arms for my uh, 4.6 Savage. So, like, I've been looking for a parts truck with those on there so I can get them for that truck. Where is RPM? Uh, if you Google RPM RC, um, it should be, like, the second link, I think. Right here. And look at that's funny. That's the first thing that shows up right there is the Traxxas Revo kit. Yeah, you have to read though in the description. I'll tell you if it, it'll if it'll fit the 2.0 or not. Right. But okay. I love the I love the Revo platform. I think it's great. That's why I have a 116 scale one too. They handle great. They they can do stunts. That's like a good all around truck. Earl, I seen. Uh, I watched your video a couple days ago of you starting up your um, Jada. <laughs> Dude, that was a six-hour-long edit. Was it? Yes. Dude, he was like out there for six hours. <laughs> Earl, I'm just saying, if you don't want it anymore, uh, I got you, man. I'll, I'll send you some money. Dude, he was losing his mind. That thing's super clean, man. Everything he has is super clean. This was a. Uh, I traded some stuff for this one, so this one's kind of beat. So I always look for spare ones because I'd use this one as a parts one and like a nicer one for like a real one, like my running one. But everybody who has them wants way too much money for it for some reason. Yeah, there's no label like. It just says hot new items. It doesn't say anything about True Track. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Give me a sec. Got the nice uh, dual snorkel blower right there. That's that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, their their website's kind of like from the nineties, kind of. Right, like, right. It's bad. Yeah, but their products are great, so that's why I still buy. There you them. go, right there. Upper and lower AMs for the Arma Creighton 8S and Outcast 8S. Yeah, I'm gonna Stronger get this. Stock, lighter than stock. That's nice, right there. Right, lighter than stock too. Wow. Yeah, dude, I, I swear by our fan parts, man. They're great. I have never broke one of their arms. I literally broke. All the arms on my 2.5 Revo way back in like 2004. Right. And I, I've told you guys, I've had that thing stuck in a tree and everything. And like, after I replaced those arms, never had, never broke one. Ever. Right. So now the only thing that they're missing, I guess, are the, low, are the rears, right? Yeah, they don't have the rears yet. Right. They said they're coming though. Right. Upper and lower front. Yeah. Yeah, it, they still don't have the true track yet for the 2.0. That is one sharp vehicle right there. Man, but that's definitely not a sharp price, though. That's Ooh, not too bad. That's, yeah, man. You got to think, I'm going to spend seven on the, just the... Yeah, I know, but, when it, but, but it all adds up when it's one after the other, after the other, after the other. It, oh, yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get that kit. Becomes a hefty bill. <laughs> nobody knowing what's going on, guy. Yeah, nobody knowing saying that he doesn't think that they make the True Track 2.0 for the 2.0 yet. No, I, I, I almost guarantee you they're, they're going to have to, man. That's such a great kit. Right, Earl's talking about... What? 
something about a 110 scale and fraction limitless that that RMO was supposed to possibly be coming out with. I heard that. Summits of Blaster Trails, right? Hey, you guys have any uh, uh, experience with life batteries? Uh, ask Earl right now. Earl definitely has experience with uh, you talking about. Yeah, just just talk to Earl. Earl, <laughs> do you have what's your experience with life batteries, man? Just for like uh, receiver batteries, I'm not gonna run a truck on them, but I was thinking about putting a lipo in my two stroke DBXL to run the servos and stuff. But I would, I was kind of thinking about going life battery instead. They're good because, like I said, I'm not gonna run a really run a truck on them, I just want to run on uh, my servos. A Summit 2.0 is a dream brushless version. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to even, like, overhaul that truck at all. I think they're kind of done with that truck. It's I think been so really long. He uses those life batteries for his Game Changer fans, I think. It says he, own, he uh, I own life batteries in my Primal. Never, ha never have to remove it anymore. Yeah, that's the whole reason why I want to do it was just leave it in the truck. Oh, I don't know about that, J.O. I know you're talking, you're thinking that you're 6x6, right? TRX6? I don't know, man. Oh, Tony's here. What's up, man? CCXRC. What's up, bud? I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Tony shows up and everybody takes off. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> what do I have pulled up here? I don't even know what I've got pulled up for a website yet. Mr. Aliande, what's going on, guy? Spectrum life batteries, right, Earl? Oh, see, that's a, that's not the right website. CBD oils. It's not the right one. Yeah, I think that's it right there. There we go. We pulled up the right one for you, Chef, right there. Here's your Spectrum Life battery. Oh, yeah. I need to find one that will fit in a DBXL two-stroke. Because that charger we have will charge those, right? Yes, sir. Yep, absolutely. Oh, stop it out there. You're, you're fine. Just relax. About 30 bucks ain't bad. Yeah, right, Tony, you like that? Tony knows firsthand about this thing right here. That thing is sweet looking, man. Ah, Tony, man. Finding out that you had that. And here it is. We were the ones that told you about it. That's the killer. Remember that on his live? He was like, oh, what are you talking about laser nut? What's that? <laughs> and then all of a sudden they send him one. Like a couple days later. Was it like three days later? All of a sudden he's got a package on his door. <laughs> what is this? I need to. I definitely need to watch this video. I think I didn't catch that video. What, Tony's? Yeah. You wait, wait till you see Tony's video. It is he did a damn good job. So like such a good job. I actually sent him a personal message. I was like, dude, that was actually you hit it out of the park with that one. I, I like all his videos. Right. I think the best video that Tony's ever done is the one with his wife <laughs> filming <laughs> from the kitchen. <laughs> I love that one. That is such a riot. Oh, 
understanding batteries. What? Tony's a pro. I agree. Yeah, I'm totally going to hit up the hobby shop tomorrow, pick up some new glow plugs, and run the drag bug tomorrow. It's only been how many months? Yeah, well, that, that, that's definitely Tony is a pro. It's what he does for a living. I'm yeah. telling you, though, that, that looks like a toy compared to the armor. Yeah. Like when it, it just looks when it's ripping in the skate park. Some of the some of the footage that they've got of this actually does look really good. Yeah, it, it looks cool. But right. then I see the armor one and I'm like, eh, I'd rather get that. It's but it's all styling. So who knows what the difference is gonna I've exactly definitely running it. The Ollie. The Ollie yeah. is definitely cool. And I know people are calling it a bunny hop, but a bunny hop's different. Bunny hop is when you lift both wheels at the same time. And Ollie is kicking the tail end up to hop up your rear wheels. Well, you when know? you bunny hop a bicycle, it doesn't work like that. When you, when you bunny hop a bicycle, you pick up the front tire and then you tip your feet forward and pull up and you pull off the back. Really? Because when I was a kid and I used to BMX, a bunny hop was literally just the hop of both front and rear wheels at the same time. Yeah. That's funny. I, it, must, I don't know. it might be location. You're from Jersey, right? Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, I know when I'm mountain biking and stuff that we call that a bunny hop. You bring the front tire up and you bring the back up. Right. I get what you're saying because that's how a bunny <laughs> bunny would hop. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, I I don't know about how true that statement is. Traxxas are uh, Traxxas is toys compared to armor. Like some of the Traxxas trucks are pretty tough, man. Yeah. If you're talking about it that way. Well, even think of the seriousness of the summit that the like even you know talking about the summit like before the summit's yeah. actually a pretty crazy truck. Yeah, that's a that's a beastly truck. And when that first came out, that was like super impressive. You know, you had like locking dips on on the remote and stuff, and it was an RTR that was like mind blowing. You know. Now, see, like obviously, right here, Heat three hundred five RC saying obviously laser nut over the Haas for that price. But you got to think like, okay, difference between the laser nut where that can go. Versus with their show and this thing going, it's a totally different vehicle. Yeah, that's that's the tough part. It's like taking that DB Pro and putting the tires and wheels on it. I'm pushing the motor right now to to burn up. You know what I mean? So, and so this is what almost 500 bucks. Yeah, off. 479. I'm telling you right now, if it was 400, I'd be like I'll probably get it. But, but that, that's but see the that thing little is little extra, man. But that's Traxxas, and Traxxas will wait for your money. I'll just wait for them to release a new color or something, and then they'll release right. another truck that's a 3S, and this one will drop like 80 bucks. Right. And by then, they'll come out with something else. They've got, they've got, their, they've got their little roller coaster thing that they do. Honestly, I really, I really hope Traxxas, like, I know they won't because they're Traxxas, but I hope they just, like, one day they're like, you know what? We went back to drawing board brand new like it's not based on anything we've ever done before this is completely out of the box like something completely new for them like no spare parts like the jado shocks that they're using and stuff like legit like brand new like kind of like the x-max was the x-max was like completely mind-blowing when it first came out it was completely different from what like made before right Yeah, right, right. Different motor, but different motor, but also different different 4S power, too. Right. Wasn't there something else we wanted to talk about? Something that was leaked or something? Something that was leaked? Yeah, was it something leaked? Yeah, that was just the, the low C. Right, uh, the MT. Yeah, the low C MT. Yeah, straight axle monster truck. That's like when that comes out, I definitely. Right. Buy. 
Well, we're not going to show Tony what we discovered because we got to keep that. We got to keep that to ourselves. Let let Tony figure <laughs> out what we found. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? He's googling right now. He's calling me right now. What are you talking about? Yeah, Rick, he'll he'll probably have one before we even know there. Oh yeah, before we even know, yeah. even know, know there exists. He'll be yeah. like just coming home from work and he'll go, "Hey, there's a package on my front door." Oh, I got a new box here. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> I love it. It's, that was awesome. I loved his explanation of that. He's like, "Check it out, guys. It just like showed up at the door. That now that's a that's a surprise right there, man." Could you imagine that? Just all of a sudden, just having a box show up at your house. You know what it is because of the size of the box. You're like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. You're getting there, guy, man. You can't be far from that. Slow. You're slow. There's, there's a box that could not get delivered today from the USPS. So I got to go pick that up tomorrow. So we'll see what's inside that box. I think I just noticed you're almost at 5K, man. You're at 4.7 right now. It's getting there. It is definitely getting there. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy. It really is. Yeah, I could have swore if it, it feels like a week ago that you hit three. You know what I mean? Right, At least right. to me. Oh, you're right. It, it's if I was to able if I was able to write things down and keep track of it, maybe there's a way to like find out how it went. But yeah. obviously, you know how it goes. It's that. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> What do they call it? They almost call it like that pyramid effect. Or, or what, not pyramid. What what is that? What is that thing when those money schemes? Pyramid, pyramid scheme, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, it's kind of almost like that. The more the more subscribers you get, for some reason, the more YouTube I think is is putting you in a higher position. Yeah. So it like works hand in hand in a way. So like Tony's probably up to getting like maybe a hundred subscribers a day is my guess. And granted there are people that probably slide off and slide on and stuff like that. But yeah, where, where is Tony now for subs? Cause didn't he just hit 30 K like last month or something like that? I'll check right now. A couple months ago. A couple months ago. Yeah. And it, right. He, he did that awesome. Like uh, he jumped. 33.9. He 33.9, so 34. Wow. Did you guys see that when he jumped over his fence with the, the Typhon? Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that that the, no, That's one of those videos that just makes my day. It's like, I'm just going to send it. Just right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, when I seen that video when they had to, like, rip up his track, I was like, oh, man. <sighs> Yeah. yeah, but he did. He did mention on his live today that they did leave him enough soil to kind of recorrect things. So, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot of manual labor. <laughs> yeah, you got sons. Give them a shovel. Yeah, right. <laughs> so they'd be like, hey, you want to mind that? <laughs> Daisy, stop. Riff, you're at one seventeen. That's awesome, man. I think I'm at like one oh four, maybe. I don't really look at it much. Like every once in a while I'll check it, but like I said, I'm doing it for fun. It got quiet. I was just gonna say that. It's <laughs> got quiet. I think I need All right, Archie. Archie Roar. Take it easy, man. Switch up the picture. Put on a Typhon video here. Is there a video of that uh, Arma? Um, the big truck? rock? Yeah. Yep. It is right here. I guess we'll have to make the sound effects for it. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have like a diesel sound in the background. <laughs> yeah, see, you have to have the sound of nitro, right? Yes. <laughs> what? 
and then it stalls out. Oh. Right, right. Yeah. That ultimate stall out sound that you get. It's I the worst, dude. Oh, you get it running, you're like, all right, it's fine. And you put your body on, you put the cl- body clips on, and you look at it, and it dies. And you're like, ah. Oh. You had the sound dead, dead on. <laughs> oh, I've heard it thousands of times. <laughs> the best one is when it gets like, uh, you know, you, you drive it, and it often it gets about 200 yards away from you, or 100, 100 yards away from you, and often it goes, boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. walk over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or you flip it over and you know that it's going to die. So you're sprinting as fast as you can. I don't care how close yes. or how far it is. By the time you go to bend over and pick it up, it dies. It knows when you get to it. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah, it's still running. And then you flip it over and off and it goes, boom. Yeah, it's back. done. I thought they had a running video. I guess they don't have a running video of this truck. That's upsetting. I thought they did because Arma usually has a running video of their stuff. Yeah, that's why I thought they would. But I was trying to see if, like, if I had it zoomed in or something, where I couldn't see the thing, but I don't see anything. I know they do it on their YouTube channel. Right. I Maybe mean, I could just jump on YouTube real quick. Ah, you know what though? I'll get a strike. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Yeah, you don't worry about that. I'll look it up later. The Which big, I think is ridiculous. You get strike for that. It's obviously it's like free advertisement. Well, yeah, that, that's what we're doing right now. That that's why it kind of aggravated me when I was showing everybody that you were the 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 bass uh, guitarist from Static X. Yeah. I got I literally <laughs> as soon as I hit end stream, I got two copyright strikes, and I'm like, what? There was no there was no sound. There was like, no sound, right? But because I guess the video played for an extended period of time in the background, it was like. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it was it was very annoying, and especially seeing that Static X is one of my you know one of my bands. I was just like, you gotta be kidding me, guy. If anything, I'm advertising for your Static X, who's dying. You know. No, oh, yeah. They're trying to do that regenerated. It's just you can't. They're, they're messing up because what they're doing is they're trying to play it off as he's still there and it's just like you can't do that yeah. uh, it's just yeah. not work it's not working right the only people that can pull that off easily is guar hey did you hear <laughs> um, they just go home and then they just have a new band member <laughs> did you hear the new lead well not new he's obviously you know not new anymore but the lead singer that they got for allison chains literally sounds like the guy from allison chains yeah Does yes like yeah. when they were playing the songs i was like Wow, this is like a song I never heard of. How is that possible? And then I realized it was actually the new lead singer. And I was just like, no. Nah. I was like, this this is the same guy. I'm like, I just somehow never heard this song. Yeah, the lead singer, the, the new lead singer from Alice in Chains sounds just like the original. It's insane. That's pretty cool. It is because it it's, man, he sounds just like him. And that's where they'll never replace Wayne. They never will. They'll never find, you will never find anybody ever like Wayne. Wayne was very unique. Yeah, it's kind of like ACDC when they replaced, uh, uh, and the bad part is it's, <clears throat> it's been so long since they actually replaced him. Yeah. Most people probably think, what do you mean? That's the original singer. No. <laughs> Uh, AKA, if you just change the that end part, uh, you can post it again, bud. What happened? Just uh, no, just AKA. It's not super bad, but someone took it down. If you just change that ending part, I agree with you. It does, but uh, just change that end part. You can repost it, man. Yeah, save the naughty words. <clears throat> oh, pigeon kicker. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I agree with you that that is crappy, man. I pulled it. Someone asked a question earlier. I can't Oops. find it. I'll get rid of that. <clears throat> RC Mass Master said, why does Armour only have one typhoon or typhoon or however you say it? I don't know. And one 
big rock body option. Honestly, I don't know. It's the same thing with the 8S uh, Outcast coming out. It's only red. And the same thing with the big rock. It's only black, unless you get the blue body. Honestly, for me, it's kind of one of those things. It's like one color is good enough because most of the time they have a, a clear body. And if you want it red or pink or purple or blue yeah. or whatever, you know, you just pick right. whatever color you want. Yeah, I'm but getting people, an 8 People definitely like, though, Options. when you, when, well, also, but when you get a factory body, the factory body is pretty slick. Yeah. You know, to try to recreate that, a lot of people don't even want to waste their time doing the amount of, you know, work or however these bodies are done. You know what I mean? Yeah. How are they done from the factory? Does anybody know? Mm -hmm. because, um, it basically, it depends. Um, like if they're like a single color or multicolor, they actually have like a, it's like basically like a eraser material right? that pushes in, it's it's like a special kind of rubber that's like a eraser. You push into the body and it actually prints it on there. Really? Oh, I've, I've seen that on uh, how it's made. They were making something that did the same exact thing. I know exactly right. what you're talking about. Right. Weren't they doing um, China? Yeah, it's called. Yeah. It's right. called pad print. Right. Yeah. So that's how this is done. That's crazy. Uh, I'm definitely going to get a clear ADAS um, outcast body, and I'm making it the General Lee. It's going to be a truck, but it's going to be painted like the General Lee. Nice. I feel like that that truck needs that. Right. Rubber stamps, right. Pigeon kick, a rub, basically like a rubber stamp, right. Yep. yep. Earl said, "RC guy, new, I see that. new challenge making RC <laughs> making body. RC body. <laughs> <laughs> That'll never happen." Although you know who did um, actually do a tutorial on that <clears throat> was um, uh, what's his name from uh, Raw Speed, the guy that I get my tires from for the drag for the drag cars. Raw Speed actually did a video. Um, I forget what his name is. I can't remember what his name is, but if you type in Raw Speed. And I think if you type in Lexan body, he actually shows you how he made his own Lexan body with a, a whole form and a jig and, and a vacuum. And it's a big process, like, what? to make something. It's an, it's insane. It seems like that's something Gus is going to start doing. <laughs> right. Well, he's going to have to. Actually, <laughs> I've already made about three of them. Really? Yep. And how do you like the process? It's unless it's a body that you really want right it's not worth the hassle right because i mean basically you make a wood form you have to like drill the holes for um you basically use a, a shot vac you hook underneath and it kind of you heat up the plastic and then you hold it above and it kind of sucks it down so it's like the amount of hassle that's involved I mean, unless you want something specific, it's it's not worth the hassle. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I. Why did I go? Why am I like here? What's going on here? Where did, where did Gus go? There I am. Oh, there he is. I pressed the wrong button. I'm like, I'm like, oh, so why are you focused on me? I'm like, what is this? Uh, Earl, I agree with you. It looks like another tractor's platform. <clears throat> What I did like, I did like the little bonus of them tossing the uh, roof skids on the truck. It was like, okay, hey, great, guys. You yeah. finally had something that should have been there. Something that I had noticed, which I, I didn't realize at the time, that my Traxxas X-Max, which I don't know if it's because maybe it's a newer version or something, it actually has the provisions to throw the skids on. So, like, I thought I understood that if you had an older X Max, you actually had to buy this section of cage, right? Or is it actually there? The, See, like that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe with the original 6S ones? I don't know. The cage is there, but it is. I, I don't know if, if they include the, the roof skids. 
Because I've seen them kind of both ways. Right. Because I know that they sell, obviously, the roof skids, you know, separate now. Yeah. But I thought I had seen that if you bought the roof skids, if you look on Trax's website, you pay $10 for the skids, but then you have to pay more money, like Trax's style, to be able to mount it. It was just like, what? what and mean? like you said, I think it might have been for the 6S, maybe. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Like it, was, like it was missing this framework or something? Yeah, like maybe it was like an afterthought. You know right. what I mean? But I, I don't quote me. I don't know. Like I've right. never owned either one, so like don't, don't don't quote you on the on the the RPM arms and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I, I think your your X Max should have had those. I mean, seriously, how how much yeah, does it should have cost? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I it cost them like five cents. Like I know. Uh, Tony wants to know, did you see the Pro Line skids they came out with? Yes. Yep. Yep. I did not. I saw them, but I would still probably make my own. Right. Skids for what? The X Max? Skids uh, for skids for literally like everything. Yeah, they're universal. Really? Yep. Huh. Yeah, Earl likes roof skids. We know. Earl needs <laughs> roof, Earl needs roof skids on everything that he drives on road. He needs roof skids because he drives in front of his house all the time, and when he jumps over his little oh, speed bump, <laughs> speed bump. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, though, is that why does he? He jumps slow mo. Exactly. So <laughs> to get the haters rolling. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's gonna literally have to have a cage built for his limitless. Yep. Slamming into the fence. You've been oh, right using Arma skids on everything, anyways, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, um, Earl, I think, used Arma roof skids for his kaiju, and you made, didn't you, uh, Gus? Didn't you do some kind of skid for your kaiju? Uh, yep. Yeah, on my uh, the Godzilla body. I never made a video on it. I really should have. Yeah, yeah, you should have. <laughs> or else he's gonna do slow motion every shot next time. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Hey, no, I, I love it. I made mine out of uh, half inch. Uh, what did I use? Delrin. Delrin. Right. Yep. yep. Half inch Delrin, and I cut it in half. It was, you know, just round. A uh, rod. I cut it in half and I stuck it on the roof. Right. I should really make it. I still have the body sitting over here. I should really make a video on that. You really should. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, should. dude. The, the stuff you Definitely. like make up and like make is just freaking nuts, man. <sighs> That's just the way I am. I would prefer to make it myself than pay somebody else. You know, ten times what it costs to make it yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just more fun, especially. If if you make it and you screw up, guess what? It was still fun making it in the first place. You know, and it, if, oh, man. you know, you know I respect I, that man. What I like doing is I like being able to something I didn't realize. So Illustrator. So obviously I made my I made my logo in Illustrator. <clears throat> I didn't realize I can use Illustrator to make a part that I can 3D print. Oh yeah. I didn't oh, know yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. I was thinking about getting a 3D printer. They are fun, but you get tired of it pretty quick because anytime you go to print something, it takes like – Yeah. Do, 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 there was one time I go to print something. It said it was going to take 24 hours, and I'm like, I'm not going to – My what, buddies – What my, happens if I run out of filament in 23 hours? Yeah. Then the whole well, print is junk. Two of my buddies are my – I call them my smart friends. <laughs> they uh, they built their own uh, 3D printers with the parts they wanted and stuff. They're like super smart with that stuff. And uh, they're always printing like cool stuff. So I was thinking about getting one, like one that was like easy to set up and stuff, but I don't know. It's just more money to throw at stuff I probably don't need. Yeah, I, I've actually made uh, two different RC cars that were uh, 3D, 3D printed. And it took just for the body on the one, it took me what was it like 
77 hours or something like that just to print the body. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's cool, but the amount of time it takes. And then the bad part is, like, if you live where I do, I, you know, I live in, like, the, the boondocks, and if the power cuts out, guess what? Oh, it's done. Right. It's done. You're starting over. I, I was just recently here trying to, uh, I've been uh, doing some gold mining with my brother, and uh, I tried to print a, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the pan, you know, for for, mm -hmm. for gold. And it took me six tries to get the goddamn dang thing to print. And I was like, what's going on here? And um, because of what's going on lately, we get uh, power flashes, like with the storms and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And every time the, the power flashes, poof, the first yeah. stuff. <laughs> and you got to start over again. So that's rough. So what you're saying is like a 3D, 3D printing is kind of like a boat. You don't want to own a boat, but you want to know somebody with a boat. So yeah. Yeah. you don't want to own a 3D printer, just know somebody with one. Yeah. 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 And obviously thing is, things are getting faster. Things are getting more advanced, especially with the 3D stuff. And, and all the consumer 3D stuff is – it's not a joke. It's, it's just not – it's yeah, some of the high end stuff yeah. has like the UV drying lights and like right. it comes out like almost smooth because I know it comes out in layers. You have to like sand it and make it smooth and stuff. Like some of the really high end stuff is super nice. You ever see the ones that print up and it's like it comes out of a liquid yes. as it comes up? It's yeah. a laser, a laser prints it. Dude, yeah, that blows printer. my mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, resin printers. My brother has one of those too. And uh, I mean, he's got. I think my brother has like 18 different printers right now. Wow. All different kinds. He's got like the the, the uh, powder ones, the um, regular, you know, uh, what do you call it? Filament ones? Filament. There you go. Filament. And then the, um, there's another type too. I can't think of what it's called. But that's all he <laughs> did for a long time was do like printer stuff. And, uh, the stuff he can do, like people uh, call him up and be like, I need a taillight for a 62 Ford Falcon or something like that. And he can take the measurements, put it in there, you know. And well, he, you does know. he have a metal printer? Have you seen them? Have yeah. you guys seen the ones that print metal? Yep. My, you know, Joe Daddy, Joe Daddy's garage that, you know, my buddy there. Yeah. Uh, because he, well, he's retired now, but when he was working for Delta literally just a few days ago, um, the machines, the 3D printers, they Delta has these insane 3D metal printers now that just make anything out of metal that you want. You, right. I'd be making RC parts. <laughs> you, you can, what happens is that you can take classic car parts that you cannot get anymore, and this 3D printer will make those. Yeah, it, it's we're like, living in the future. It's insane. What? It's like what? You've got to be kidding me. Well, uh, they can print lots of stuff. Like they're actually printing body parts right now on, on 3D printers. Right, right. It's yep. insane, man. Yep. It is crazy. Library, I think. What was that? No, I'm just reading the comments to myself. Oh, right. Uh, RC Sailors did do a speed run, right, on that. Um, Laser nut, right? 43. 43 or 42, and it was his, his wife that beat him. Yeah, she got she got 43 and he got 42, and <laughs> he gets all amped up every single time. So in other words, you'll probably do 50. <laughs> I'll be quiet, you. What's up, shroom stuff? Afternoon. It's night here, but I don't know where you're at, but afternoon to you. Right. You guys running anything tomorrow? I'm hoping to go to the uh, skate park tomorrow. Oh, are you? Nice. What are you taking? Uh, taking the kaiju. Nice. Last time I got kicked out of there, and uh, <laughs> they said no motorized vehicles. And I said, this is a motorized toy. 
So they ended up giving me a ticket. Uh, are you kidding me? A ticket? Yeah, I went and went in, and then I went in, went in, and they're like, "Well, that's not a motorized vehicle; it's a motorized toy." So they let me go. Wow! You should um, bring Mater tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that one Mater at the skate park. <laughs> Mater, they would probably give me. It would be no. Oh, you'd be in handcuffs. <laughs> you'd be in handcuffs. <laughs> You can hear, I'm telling you right now, I can already hear maximum overdrive sounds playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, I would probably get in trouble if I brought Major just because the neighbors, they complain just because of like the electric sound. And I'm like, what? What if I brought that made noise? You know what I mean? Yeah, if you brought a nitro there, you'd be in handcuffs. That's insane. Yeah. The bad part is, it's like the, the sign on. The thing says no motorized vehicles, so it's like it's not a motorized motorized vehicle; it's a motorized toy. Yeah, <laughs> so. you're not like riding it or nothing, right? So, it can, how, did you pay the ticket? No, I actually got away with that. Yeah. Okay, I didn't hear that part. How well, much was the ticket? I didn't see that. They wanted two hundred and sixty dollars. Are you serious? For real? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm gonna rant <laughs> for that match, much money from Matchbox guy. You kidding me? I went to court and I was like, "This is wow. not a motorized vehicle. It's a motorized toy." Wait, jeez! That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> right. Although it does go fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's faster than like a smart car. So right, <laughs> yeah, I can I can see them like if you're being a jerk and like there's kids there trying to skate and stuff, and you're trying to like jump over them and stuff. Okay, that's one thing. But if you're yeah. by yourself and just jumping, if I was a cop, I'd be like, eh, he's not hurting nobody. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. And that's the problem. There was nobody there. Yeah, like uh, get out of here with that. Like that's ridiculous. Yeah, it was just me and my son, and the cop rolls up, and he's like, uh, so I heard you have a motorized vehicle. <laughs> and I was like, well, kind of, but not really. Yeah, yeah, my truck's right there. It's parked in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, that, that's insane. That blows my mind. And, like, for people to call over that, you have nothing better to do. You know what I mean? Considering I live in a community, a community that is probably, I would say, 80% over 65, you know, that's kind of what you They have nothing better to do. Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh. Did you see what that guy's doing over there? Yeah. Someone's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's illegal. He can't have fun on my watch. There's well, a... Right there, James Bush is like, hey, only $250 to take his motorbike to the skate park? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's all it costs. Now, if I had the whole day there. If I was still in my motocross for recent days and I could take it to the skate park for 250 bucks, I'd do it. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be worth it. What's up, John Miller? That would be cool. So, Gus, when you uh, when are you gonna get back into like a uh, real motor RC, like with nitro and two stroke? You're always talking about it. I know you got Mater. That's like the ultimate. But like, you gonna uh, get another uh, two stroke or anything? Um, honestly, it's gonna be soon. Um, you know, because my health issues, I haven't had a job for almost a year, mm -hmm. and uh, I just recently got a new job. So, um, hopefully, because of you know being more financially secure, I should be able to actually buy what I want instead of having to do like handyman jobs, etc. You know, oh, yeah, I got you. You know, never know for sure how much money I'm going to have, you know, stuff like that. No, yeah. What do you, uh, what are you looking at? What are you on up? Um, I really want to get, I'm trying to talk my brother into giving me my old Revo back. I really, I miss it. You know, the, the old E Revo 3.3, it was just, it was a great truck. You oh, know? the Revo 3.3. 3. 
Yeah, that readable 3.3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said e-readable, it's have it. But yeah, readable 3.3. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be sick, man. Is it upgraded at all or anything? Or? Um, trying to remember. I think the only thing that was upgraded was probably RPM arms on that. It's a true track kit. Yeah. But yeah, I have a uh, original Revo 3.3 down there, the first ones that came out, that has the worst shocks I've ever seen. Hold on. I, I got to get this. Hold on. I got to show you guys how crappy these shocks are. Probably like my old 2.5. 2.5, you said? Yeah, I had my my first Revo was two point five, and that one. Yeah, was that was my original first hobby grade. I say, all right, you guys ready to see this? Watch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, Mark. you know what? <laughs> no matter what you do to that. Like they're always like that. They're... It reminds me of one of my grandfather's station wagons. <laughs> it reminds me of a waterbed, dude. Like, <laughs> right like, without, without the baffle plates, dude. When this when this is running, it literally just goes like this the whole time. <laughs> it's horrible. Well, it's like, what makes it stick to the ground. This is why. This is this right here is why I don't buy Integi shocks. Right. They're yeah. garbage. The their bumpers. Not a fan. Like it literally just falls apart. They strip out. They're not good. The only thing that's good that I think Integi, Integi makes or Integi is skid plates. Other than that, it, they're just junk components. Let's see the skid plates. Right there. Yeah, that actually looks nice. It's aluminum. Right. I have it. I have it on my original two five. Right, well, how, how can you go wrong with a piece of aluminum? <laughs> yeah, it's just a flat piece of aluminum, and it, and honestly, it does protect where the battery sits and where um, the servo and stuff for reverse and stuff is. So actually, the wings here actually serve a purpose. This is actually good, and it comes with a transmission. You take off the plastic transmission cover and you use an aluminum one. That's pretty good. It works good. The other stuff is crap. <laughs> like. <laughs> this thing, man, like watching this drive is hysterical. All right. Well, I guess Intergy isn't going to be sending me anything in the mail tomorrow. Not. <laughs> hey, I'm saying, like, don't, if they send you shocks, just send them back. Oh, God. <laughs> That's terrible. But uh, this is actually, yeah, I, I wish I knew who made this uh, roll bar. There's, this is an aluminum roll cage on here. And, um, this is like when the, uh, like I said, this is the original Revo 3.3. So, like, I don't know who made this roll bar. It's from, like, 2005, maybe, or this roll cage. It's really nice. Like, there's, like, we've had a spark when we flipped it and stuff. Like, it's a really solid roll cage. I would definitely buy another one of these, but I had no idea who made it. It's been so long. But, yeah, those, <laughs> those shots I thought were hysterical. So floppy. But that has But that has like the original uh AM uh radios and stuff. Like my my original two five had the same thing, but I swapped that out for uh two point four gigahertz. Yeah, you gotta do that. Like yeah. Like, and it's crazy, too, because the 2.5 gigahertz that's in there is the first 2.5 gigahertz transmitter that Traxxas made. You remember the one with the fold-up antenna? Yep. That's that's what that, uh, my 2.5 disc Revo right here is running. It's a, uh, the original uh, 2.5 gigahertz that they're making, or that yeah. they made. And uh, it's actually a pretty good transmitter. Yeah. I was surprised. They actually look like the old, uh, like uh, twenty-seven uh, megahertz ones, but except they actually had that, like that little antenna, a little thing that flipped up on them. Yeah, it's this one right here. This one. Yeah. The yeah. Little, this is their original uh, two point five, 
And uh, I got the, when I upgraded, I got the, like, obnoxious one. This is the one that came with the original um, Summit. So it has, like, the extra switch here and stuff. So these are actually pretty solid controllers. Um, yeah. And then, they, and then they switch to these things, and I think they feel like nothing compared to those. They switch to these. Yeah. I do. I think these feel like no, these feel like paper compared to these. Like these actually feel like legit. And the new, newer ones actually have uh, my son and I with uh, ours. We've actually had issues with the batteries. You'll be running the truck and it just dies on you. You're like, what's going on? And you try to get to work, and it turns out to be the batteries um, lose connection inside of the battery box on the radio. Really? Yep. Yeah, I never, uh, never had that issue. This is the one from my three three Revo. Oh, the new, the newer three three Revo. But yeah, even our our, uh, our Max did that, and it That's turned out we had to. I took the batteries out. Clean them up with a file, put the batteries back in, and it was fine. Huh. So that's something I need to keep an eye on, then. Yep. I think Shade Tree, uh, he likes he likes the uh, integer heat sink and fan combos. Looks like he uh, stands I, looks like he stands behind them on his his, his point there. He says if he blew on it, it would have done a better job. <laughs> well, I I never had an issue. I never uh, tried those, so those might be good, but. Don't get their shocks. <laughs> and those shocks, Peggy, Peggy, yeah, whatever they are. I uh, on my two five Revo, Revo so my that, original. I literally went over two jumps, and they weren't even high. It was like four feet. And the the uh, they have um, reservoirs on them. The tops on those reservoirs shot off and shot shock oil everywhere. It was insane. Lane, I'm kind of right there with you with uh, my truck batteries. So I was like 100% behind uh, USA uh, HRB batteries, graphene batteries, and I finally had one puff on me, which is kind of weird because it's not showing any issue. So I, I did a bunch of tests on it. It, it. Obviously, one of the cells must have puffed. I can't figure out which one. Um, but I'm, not, I'm also not showing any adverse cell-like conditions. So I've checked each individual cell. I checked it for its resistance. It's the same across the board. All six cells have the same power. It's just, obviously, it's it just slightly puffed. You could feel it. It just has that like, little bit of a pillow effect to it. And that's the first time I've ever had one of those USA HRB graphenes puff on me. So that that was kind of a bummer. Uh, James, um, I actually did a video. Don't mean to push my channel but um i did a video on this stand and Stop this and <laughs> sorry i'm just saying and this this mat i actually did a video on on uh it's a combined video on both um so if you go on my channel it's my newest video it should be the first one um watch it i did a little review on both um the stand i think is phenomenal uh the mat honestly now that i'm working on a little bit more my video i seem a little iffy on it but um so far, so good. I oh, yeah? How's the yeah. lettering? The lettering is upside down. It's driving me insane. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> um, nice yeah. RC guy garage sticker going right yeah. over there. It might look nice. Yeah, yeah if, if I ever got stickers. But, uh, hey, you can yeah. put a Mets RC sticker. You can put yeah. a couple of Mets RC stickers right no, on I'm there. I'm saving those. He, he, he's going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> saving the good ones. <laughs> But yeah, if you go on my channel and check it out, um, I did a little review on both of these. I'm um, actually liking that stand, by the way, Chef. And I think you did a great job on that video, by the way. Thank you. And honestly, that was all one go. I literally just held the GoPro the whole time and just put it right up on YouTube. Right. Um, but the stand, honestly, the thing is solid, man. Like, it's not going anywhere. And I love the fact that it locks. Because you guys see my chicken roast there. I don't know about all of you. But I know uh, you and Gus have, but this is what I used to use. I used an old chicken roasting stand, and uh, I had scrap metal and put a, a wheel on it, and it works. But trying to work on stuff that's free, like, just you're always chasing it. You know what I mean? This has a little ball on it, so it actually locks into place. Right. So it's actually really good. 
And then I, I showed you guys earlier, but the guys and uh, people in the stream, uh, in my video, I said the Revo barely fit. So I just literally cut two pieces of ply, uh, two by fours, screwed them together. So now when I work on the Revo, it's a little higher so I can spin it and it works. But yeah, I think it's, it's a solid stand and for 26 bucks. Like you can't, I don't think you can beat it. Are you going to sell, sell those blocks of wood? Yeah. 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Right now. Right on the Jeff Beardsley site. 20 bucks for these blocks. <laughs> They're called lift blocks. But honestly, it holds any if you the Revo, I don't know how like familiar uh, all you guys are with the Revo, but like that's that's a, a uh a capra kit and it has plenty of room. Like there's no it's not even close to touching. Um this is a Savage 4.6. Not, Not even close. Right. Not even, like, I still have a, a solid inch and a half, two inches to, until I touch the bottom. But the problem with the Revo is the way their suspension set up, they sag really far. So, like, with the mat underneath of it, it's kind of kind of hard. Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit. Well, with the two by fours, it's fine. So, but yeah, like I was just scrolling through Facebook one day and seen a, a video on this from uh, Amen Hobbies, and that's where I bought it from. There's a link in the description in the video. But last time I checked, they were sold out. So, a question for you. So, I'm just obviously, as you got up, I saw you've got a cobalt chair. Yeah. That any good? Eh. Eh. It, it's okay. Like the I'm looking for another chair for downstairs, but I'm assuming that's not a high one, right? It's a regular, a low one. No, is it's, it? Oh, it's a bar height. Oh, okay. And watch. Oh, it lifts up. It's all the way down. Right, right. So, like this, this is a high chair. Like I could really be up there. Right. And I'm a big boy. I'm 270 pounds. Right. So, like, it doesn't really sag much or nothing, but. Now, what do you kind of like? You kind of like, yeah, it's all right. What What do you not like about it? Uh, this back part, it's on uh, two thumb screws, okay. or like hand tight underneath, right back here, and um, they seem to get loose every once in a while. So you lean back on it and it slides out a little, so you have to tighten it back up. Um, comfort wise, I don't, I don't think it's too bad, but um, I, if I was you, I would go to Hopper Freight. Yep. Or hopper for it. And, um, <laughs> and then uh, sit on a couple. Because I got this from Lowe's, I think, or Home Depot, one of those. Yeah, Lowe's like, carry cobalt. Yeah, it was like 100 bucks, I think. Right. Um, it's built well. It's not going anywhere. It's not loose or anything. It's just, I think you can probably find something a little more comfortable. But it's not too bad. Right. I can't complain too much, but right. I'm just getting picky. Well, I mean, it's good to know because, I mean, I saw, obviously saw the seat and I need something else for downstairs because it feels like with the seat that I've got, which that seat would probably take care of, I feel like I'm constantly pitched too far forward. That's why I got it because I, I, I was using – I have regular bar stools under here. I have a BF Goodwrench and another, like, NASCAR chair, and um, <laughs> there's no there's no back. You gotta look yeah. at Earl's comment. <laughs> you need to eat a little bit more, Earl. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> yep. But yeah, I was always I always wanted a back rest, you know? Like so like when I'm working on our same like this, but like when you take a break or watch or something or stream, you know, you can just like lean back. So it's really not a bad chair, but Harbor Freight has a few nice ones I was looking at, but I decided on this one. Right. Every once in a while, Harbor Freight does have a couple of things that as long as you can get by the smell, it's, it's – <laughs> well, Harbor Freight does have that particular smell when you walk in the store. Not not the one I go to because it literally just opened. It's on the way to my really? work. Yeah. So, so you like, figure it would have that fresh – it's Fresh like it's kind of smell. 
No, it's it's perfect. It's like you walk in, it smells good. Everybody's happy because they still love like their their job right now. Right. So like, <laughs> it's good. But yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But I wish, I wish I could find a bar stool with those really diesel bags. You know, you know what I mean. Like the ones that like wrap around you halfway. Right. Like one of those real big ones. I just can't find one anywhere. Throw a little background on that. Because this is what the stream is supposed to be talking about. <laughs> no releases, not high back chairs. And <laughs> well, that's that's how all the streams go. We always start good, and then we just kind of taper off, which I kind of like. We talk about I, I, I do. I do too, but I want I, I want to remember like if if some of the people come in and they're kind of like, hey, you know, what are you guys talking about? Cutting up some cheeseburgers? What's going on? Here? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. We're gonna we're gonna start talking about iced teas too. The uh, the green I like the green body. Right. I do. Yeah. It is. It definitely is shop. That's why I'm curious to know. Like I said, this Friday or Saturday, I'm gonna get a pretty good in depth look into this truck. And you know I'll report to you guys like what I see and find. So oh yeah, that's why I like our group of people right. that we all talk to because nobody right. like lies. Like right. if you don't like it, you don't like it. You know? Right. Some of us are a little bit too honest sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like your comment earlier. <laughs> uh, Earl says, Chef Beardsley, check the yeah. tools. They got what you need. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah, let me let me take a mortgage out to uh, <laughs> buy a chair from Snap On. <laughs> One chair. <laughs> One chair, hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> my my uncle that's is gonna, a Snap On guy, though. Dude, it's gonna be the best Mac chair you ever bought. <laughs> <laughs> better massage my back for the prices they charge. You better do more than that. <laughs> yeah. It better ask you to hold your beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it better chill it at the same time. <laughs> hold my beer. But, yeah, if you got this share, I don't think you'd be upset. All right, guys. I think I'm going to have to head out for the evening. All right, Gus. All right, Gus, man. Have a good night. Having you, man. Yeah. <clears throat> it's been a lot of fun. I'll catch you guys, uh, catch you guys later. We'll see yep. you later, man. Where is Larry at, man? I know. He said he was, what, a couple of hours, he said. He yeah, he said, yeah. sorry. He said his phone will let him join. He's telling him it's all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Well, it is because of his new phone. Is it his new phone or is it him? Yeah, it's probably combination <laughs> of both. Easy, <laughs> affordable monthly payments. I have enough monthly payments, man. <laughs> right. Especially when this uh, kit launches, if they do Easy Pay, I'm going to uh, have that payment too. So see affordable payments for the rest of your life. Yeah, exactly. Your firstborn son here. Right, they'll have to finish the payments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Someone jump in. Right, we got the invitation right there. Earl, hop in, man. Boom. A riff or Earl is cooking it. Earl's cooking dinner. Still. What are you making? Or he was cooking dinner. What you make, Earl? Snap easy on pays awesome. Off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy pays awesome until like I realize I'm buying a Wait, until you realize you did five easy pays? <laughs> yeah. And then like I'm like, oh, that's only this. That's and then all my easy pays. <laughs> add up to like three hundred dollars a month. I'm like, what? Right, more than that. What are you talking about? Well, I do the yearly. I don't do the three oh, months. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I keep I keep it low. Okay? Right. Oh, he's having pork chops. Pork nice. chops. Are they better not be overcooked, girl. All right, I hate overcooked pork. It tastes like sawdust. <laughs> Pigeon kicker, what's going on, guy? How are you? Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. All right, man. Say, so have a good night, man. I'm not echoing or doing no crazy shit like that. Oh, it sounds hey. fine. Watch the, watch the language, though. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy stuff like that. Right. There you go. 
I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry, man. The stream uh, is different. That's all, you know. So yeah, you threw the invite out. I figured, what the heck? Why not? Here, uh, yeah, man. I'm actually working on my my uh, remote control robot right now. What What's do you that? got? Let's see it. It's a hexapod. I'm gonna try and make him. It's got big. like eight eight legs. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Dude, Twenty-four that's servos. Sick. Twenty-four so he servos. Walks around, dude. Holy smokes. So it's like a spider. Yeah. Wait a and minute. I've sick. seen I've seen you before. You've got the crazy tank. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Dude, that yeah, that's the one where the, uh, the police the police someone called the police on me for being out in the park. Right. And I'll the park <laughs> with, with the remote control tank, dude. <laughs> Makes well, sense. You, were there, you were out there shooting pigeons, so <laughs> well, no, it's just it's just got a copper tube in it right now. There's right. no firing mechanisms or nothing like that. So right, right. But it's still just, part of it's cool. Yeah. I you love the fact that you said right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on? Uh oh, now we're looking at the ceiling. <laughs> what? What's, All right, now. what's going on? What's up, bro? Oh, you know, just uh, cooking, doing everything. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, you know, pork chops and oh, rice. Here we go. Oh, man. And yes, Don't Pete 305, it is very, very confusing. Yes. <laughs> do do right. not overcook those pork chops, Earl. Let's see how close this will get. Dude, I think So how many have ordered that uh, new tractors? Not me. <laughs> right, nobody. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet until this Friday or Saturday when I check it out. Ah, very right nice. We'll Someone see. said I should put an AR. Uh, I'm not putting a gun in the tank. I already know oh. Earl's going to order one. Well, I'm sorry, two. <laughs> two of them. They, they asked them what color. I two of them. Both. They asked them what color. <laughs> yeah. You already know both. Got to. Um, I see you working even, on the wheel of something I think right it's there. Gonna be, it's going to be the same as all their other platforms. Right. You know. Um, it's obviously a combination. I think it's yeah. like a hybrid between yep. uh, yeah. a stampede, hybrid. Uh, a stampede so, and a, uh, you know. But uh, you got to run it. You know, right. it might handle different. Right. I know the EXB shocked me. I already right. had a crazy Right. So I'll just wait for your guys' videos. The same. And, what uh, about what about now? Yeah, I got a question for you. What about the laser nut? Um, I won't be ordering the laser nut. Okay. Um, You're gonna wait until I wait until I say, "Hey, you gotta buy a guy." <laughs> I'm gonna wait just like I did with the DB Pro. I'll be the last one going to every store looking for one. <laughs> right. Right. So, I tell you, you know, I, I actually can't wait because, like I said, the first thing that's coming off is that spare tire and a wing's going on it because I just – it's it's that's not what I want. I don't, I don't want why, a tire on the back. Why a wing? It looked like a perfect place for that wing too. Right. It looks right. like you could just bolt a wing on top of it. Right, and I suspect that you can. From the schematics that I've looked at, it looks like you actually can. But the only difference is, is how the cage is affixed to that back section might be the issue. That's all, so – uh, so we'll yeah. see if, if it's the wing just bolting to the shock tower. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Why so, do you yeah. bother putting a wing on it? Because yeah. that's the style of driving that I like. And that tire sitting on the back, I just, I don't want a tire, you know, obviously weighing it down, but I, well, want, I understand the tire, but like, why, why I want, wing? To, I want to finish the look. Okay. Oh you yeah. Know, that's all. That's all it is. It's just finishing the look. Finishing that truggy look. Right. Right. Yeah, I think it'll be a win. It looks like a good vehicle. I like the idea it's stretched. You know, that looks like cool. That. Yeah, yeah. I do. I, I, you know, I'm yeah, curious exactly. on the weight. Are you working on the okay. EXP right now? Um, uh, I'm not. I just, I just sat down at the table okay. because I say, jumped on the live. I say, I see a wing right there. It looks like an EXP wing. Yeah, it's, def <laughs> it's definitely the EXP. That's what I was working on. Nice. I, uh, I want to get an AXP uh, eventually. 
the Creighton 8S uh, fan heat sink. I'm putting it here. I'm going to put some game changer fans on top. Beautiful. So that's that's the plan. Beautiful. So, but yeah, uh, there's a new EXB sitting in RC guy's garage that I think we've only seen on box once. Oh, be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you said something. Well, we get we get a present coming for it tomorrow. So, good, good, glad to hear. Right. Be nice. Yeah, I definitely want to nice get to one see of those. Another too. broken diff. <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> that away right away. Has anyone had any time to run any boats this year? No, actually, I actually just pulled out this boat. Right. This is this is uh this is his dad's boat, right? This yeah, it's my my old man's old boat. It's uh nice. Oh, look at that. It has nothing in it. It's completely empty because right my, my brother-in-law um took all the electronics out and we have no idea where he put them. But um. It's apparently from, it's a German boat um, because of Gus, because Gus can find anything. Um, that, was in, that was within minutes. And not even. I literally said Gus is really good at finding this, and 30 seconds later, I had a video. And then, uh, but I'm, I need to do research. I know nothing about boats. So, like, I have to, I, I literally need everything. So, I need to do research on what I can put in here, what's going to work what i'm gonna need so i have no idea right now so if anybody has any like anything they can point me in the right direction or what i should put in this yeah i just i just got a boat recently it's uh it's a real ep uh it's an offshore racer the guy hit a dock with it it's like 200 <laughs> bucks bill. and the guy hit a friggin dock with it and uh shattered the whole side tore the whole side of it off wow. the whole seam all the seams were cracked so i just co i said heck with it and coated it in that spray rubber right you know and it worked right, right. But, uh, but yeah let me, let me. The flex seal right yeah hey but yeah take it, it over to the us and runs pretty good man doesn't do too bad right uh, uh hector it is plastic it. Put the oversized tubing in there to catch a little bit more water, you know. But I got it for him for twenty bucks, you know. Right? Oh yeah, it's definitely down. worth it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, definitely nothing wrong with that. It, it actually runs pretty good. It runs pretty good. Right. Uh, they, don't, they don't make them anymore. It's like nine years old, eight nine years old. This thing is over twenty. Like <laughs> it's older right than me. So. Those are the good but, ones, man. Those old ones. Is that balsa? No, it's actually plastic. It, really? it was a yeah, it was a kit my old man put together when I was like real little. And then, uh, God, thank God. there, but it's had, uh, who made it? I think it was made. I think it was actually produced by Horizon Hobby, and it's the uh, real EP offshore racer, something like that. I can't find parts for it. Nothing. So if I hit something else hard, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> well, for uh, twenty bucks, know. you know. But as, hey, as far as uh, on putting your boat together, there, keep keep the balance kind of uh, a third of the way. So your balance point is a third of the way from the back of the boat. Yeah. Okay. So you got you know two thirds toward the front and one third toward the back. That's a oh. pretty good starting point. Well, my buddy has an in-ground pool, so I have a feeling I'll be testing it in there. So <laughs> right on, right? Yeah, definitely. Don't take it on the lake the first time, dude. Oh no, <laughs> you got a blow boat and some big arms. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, Hector. This the only thing that's written on here. It, it's called an Electro V. So V E E at the end, Electro V. Um, and Gus found a video, of course, he finds everything, um, of a guy, he upgraded it a bunch of times. He had it for like 20 years. Um, huh. but I, I literally, I literally need everything. I need a new prop, a new motor, ESC, some kind of, I don't even know how the cooling systems work in this thing. So like, I don't know, I'll figure it out, but yeah. 
Yeah, be really careful with your prop balance and everything. Because it will, it will tear that boat apart. Oh yeah. So the video that uh, Gus sent, like the guy had like an overpowered system in it, and the guy can literally like jump out of the water with it. Yes, I saw that. It was nuts. That's crazy. The boat like you have? Yeah, it's it, it's this exact boat. But exactly. he, he's had it since it was brand new. So, like, he's been upgrading it and stuff. And he said right he's, like, 20 years old. So he, uh, he like, put a brush system in it and stuff. It was nuts. Yeah, there's also someone in the chat that just said uh, 30% from back to front. 30%. Or, yeah, a third of the way. I'm sure it'll be trial, trial and error. You know, I'm yeah. sure it'll take on water and I'll be going with swimming. But. <laughs> Just attach a fishing line to it and we'll be good. I have a kayak. We'll be all right. <laughs> a fishing pole with a bobber on the end is all you need. Right. <laughs> yep. It's a, it's a little too big for my bathtub. <laughs> it's a little big. A little bit. I was, I was telling them earlier, I was looking at the – it's called the Thrasher boat. It's a jet boat. That thing is sick. Yes. Yeah, that thing is a 6S boat, right? Huh? Is it a 6S boat? Yeah. And like yeah, I think it, it has like it has a reinforced hull and like um RC Sparks was jumping it in a in a yes. creek in a Man. creek with like the rocks. Right. And like he literally put a ramp in there and was jumping it and slamming it in the rocks and stuff. And then it just kept going. And it has a bilge pump, so like as it takes on water, it just shoots it out. It sucks right. Out. right. Dude, the I thing is, got, like the, the auto right feature, like if you flip it over, it'll roll itself back over yeah. on the top. And once it gets, back, yeah, it gets like it. a certain amount of water and it starts pumping it out. That, like, when I eventually, like, after I buy all these trucks I'm buying, when I eventually, like, all right, I want a boat, that's the boat I'm getting. There's no other boat I've ever looked at, and I'm like, I want that boat. I want that jet boat. Like, yeah, it's a right, it's yeah. a bad boat. It's a lot of money too, the whole right? Seven hundred bucks. Yeah. Sounds like sounds like a TLR. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah but I'm getting a TLR first. I'll tell you that right now. That's a serious one there. When you get up over five hundred bucks, that's when you're like really super yeah. into it. Honestly, you look at all the all the things it can do. One, it has a reinforced hull. Like literally, watch videos, not just RC Sparks, but other people. Sliming it into things, going up dams and stuff. Like, it thing's awesome. And that TLR guy, I'm getting that. I cannot wait right. really to get I know. That. I know. That's why I, I threw been, it up. I know. I've been waiting two years for that <laughs> kit. And then I'm, I'm going to drop 700 on a kit and then probably another 400 on a motor. <laughs> Ooh, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm making the ultimate bashing truggy, though. Right. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Paul Clancy said he knows somebody with a Spartan for a hundred bucks. That's, yeah, a nice, yeah. that's a nice boat, dude. That's a fifty it, mile an hour boat. Yeah, Spartan, I've seen. Spartan, I've seen. Track, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen videos, and it's a nice boat, but I don't want it. The like, if I'm gonna buy a boat, I'm buying that jet boat. Like, that's the only boat I want, besides the one I used to run with my old man. Right. Price new for the brushless version, five and a quarter. Wow. Yeah. No, it's a great price. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But well, I know Traxxas Trax is getting actually pretty good about their boats. Yeah. I'm not their, watching the boats, obviously. But yeah. My buddy's got another one. It's uh, the uh, Traxxas. Uh, uh, I'll remember. Hold on. <laughs> uh, you talking about the. Single prop. Single prop, the the prop turns for steering. No, that's a thrasher jet boat. That thing's sick. No, that's not the one. But right on, yeah. Oh, it's the V hull. Cool, dude. That thing's sick, man. Sick. Because like, especially behind my house, like behind my house, I have a creek back there, and like, there's rocks, there's trees. Like, I need something that I'm not gonna break the hole on. You know what yeah, I mean? Right on. I want to try and find that. Uh, that name of that boat that he's got. Yeah, that this, I, it's a quick one, dude. It's it's pretty quick. Are you talking about the one with the two pontoons or whatever they're called in the front of the boat? Um, 
Hold on. I, for, I, I, I don't know much about boats. So it looks like it has like two, I guess, pontoons. I don't know in the front. Lane, don't flip it. You're on the swimming. I, I told you guys, I have a kayak. It'll be all right. It's an older one, too. It's not newer. It's an older one. From from right as the brushless era was coming in. Platinum Slash. Yeah, this Platinum Slash is nice, uh, Bo. Cataroon or Cater, yeah, I know, I know how to say it, but I know what you're saying. I have it I'll right here. Let me go. For, yeah, that's right. He left it here. Damn. I wish he could watch a video on YouTube without getting a um, a uh, strike, because that's video RC Sparks did. Even if you don't like him, it sold me on that boat. Like, right. it was nuts. It was like, well, I was hoping this channel would have the yeah an actual video, but it doesn't look like it really do. It was like it was like four or five inches of water, and he was just ripping it, man, and like jumping it and slamming it into the rocks. Like he was not being nice to that boat. And then they added like a new uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a thing to angle the jet so you can have it come up out of the water more and really bite down deep. Check that it. shot out right there. Yeah. That's a shot. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, that that's a boat for me right there. It's a Traxxas Blast. Blast? Oh, I should see those back in the day. Yeah, it's a yeah, tiny it's little like boat single, too, right? Same little flopper. Again, this one's broke from him hitting something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but this one, it this one has, you know, just it's all one plastic mount on the inside yeah everything mounts to so that's why i like the jet boat you don't have to worry about rudders and stuff you know yeah 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 and then we've got this one this is an old boat the little spoon bill oh that's cool looking man yeah it's got a little like uh two what is that uh 280 yeah Le Mans 280 that's crazy. But we're trying to get them eventually. This has one of those uh, radio controllers, the <laughs> uh, servo controller and everything. Picked in the one. Earl said the Traxxas uh, wide boat looked good to him. It, <laughs> that was super green. The Traxxas wide boat. <laughs> the AC? <laughs> no. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, this is the workshop. The AC doesn't get clean. <laughs> no. Casey, what's going on, guy? How are you this evening or afternoon for you? <laughs> Is the home bothering you, by the way? I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. No? Okay. Mr. Bush. <laughs> Wide Max. Yep, it is. That's true. Yeah, it's Smokey's RC. Yeah, it's my time to get out of here, too, pretty close. What's that? This right here? Yeah. This is that big rock from Arma. Oh, okay. It, look, right it looks sick, man. Right. Does look like a nice truck. Tracks this wide boat, wide max boat coming soon. <laughs> right. <laughs> the Earl. <laughs> right. But yeah, that jet boat is definitely a boat for me, man. <clears throat> Eventually. Once I get the outcast and that kid and all that other stuff I want. A buddy of mine actually has a couple of uh, boats that he keeps forgetting that he's supposed to give to me. The boats are fun. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. But... They, can. they can be. You just obviously have to be near water. Yeah. And make sure you have a boat to go get your boat. 
Yeah. And I'm I'm telling you, the, the crick behind the house would be perfect for that jet boat. That's why I want it so bad, though. I literally had the perfect spot to run that thing. Because I can't run that boat because I'm going to be ripping off props and stuff like that. Like, that jet boat would be perfect back there. Good for beach areas. Yeah. Casey, what's happening, bro? Yeah, you're covering up my face with an ad, dude. And There's no ad on your face. <laughs> yeah. I'm on RC Guy Garage. Go on to it, Mike, and look at my ugly face. Because I'm going to be ripping off the front. Yeah, hi there. That jet boat would be perfect. I'm on the phone talking to you guys at the same time. I'm trying to get him into RC. I'm going to do it. It's a good addiction. Oh, he put the garage. Go on to it, Mike. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear his thing. You see me? Casey, mute your stream. I muted him. Um, did you notice he fixed his ceiling? It might be a different room. That's true. <laughs> Casey, we had to mute your stream. Our chat. You better? Oh, okay, now I'm back. There you go. We had to mute your stream because of the volume. Yeah, exactly. I just tripped myself out. I'm like, wait a minute. I said that like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Mike, you on yet? Do you see us? Come on, dude. <laughs> trying to get one of his buddies to come on the stream. Good. Heck yeah, man. Uh, um. So, Pigeon, did you make that custom, or is that like a kit you bought, or... The robot yeah. or the tank? The tank? No, no, the, no, the, the, the thing you're working on now. Oh, the robot? No, I made yeah. him from scratch. No, 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 you're not. Dude, that's the same. Actually, I got a bunch of videos on you. If you name name is, I'm actually get off the phone with you. They're trying to. What'd you say, Pigeon? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's muted now. All right. Uh, his name is Hank the Hexapod, and there's a bunch of. Uh, YouTube videos on them uh, about the whole build process and all that. Right. But I ended up taking one, two, two, two RC airplane wrecks, uh, RC helicopter wreck, a bunch of cars, and tore them all down for all the servos in it. Jesus. So it's got all, it's got parts out of a little bit of everything in it. It's got like linkages. So you're like Frank helicopter linkages. For the arms to swing the arms, I use right. helicopter linkages to for the radius to swing it. What's being used as like its central brain, like to get all the stuff working? It is. Hold on. There is a. It's a programmable computer called an Arduino. And yes, yes, like a pod. Right? Heard of it before? Yeah, right. Okay. Now the code in it tells the servo controller. So the, the Arduino right here right. tells this servo controller where to move all of the servos. It's insane. And this servo, this servo runs 24 Okay, servos. I'm going to get up the phone with you real quick, Mike. So there's, all three, right. there's three more servos I have to put on for the head so the head will, like, look back and forth. Right. And then there's another one, another three servos on the back for a tail. That's right. what the battery pack is. So it can balance itself when it swings its tail. Right, right. You know, so if it picks up a couple legs or one of its legs breaks and it feels like it's tipping too far, it'll, it'll swing it'll the tail over for the leg. That's crazy. So it's got so it, a gyroscope inside there. You can uh, you can uh, connect it through, through your phone. <laughs> you should be your name should be Dr. Frankenstein and not Pigeon. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm doing all kinds of computer stuff, dude. I've been doing. That's it. awesome. How dude. long does it take you to calibrate all those servos, man? I'm not even done. <laughs> I started so this too long. Like five years ago. <laughs> Literally, I've been I've been building him and rebuilding him for about two years, three years. Wow. Yeah, just commitment, dude. Um, he used to be really small. He was like little, had little tiny micro servos in him. Yeah. And uh, it was the same control board, but all the all of the gears kept stripping. 
because it wouldn't handle the weight of the batteries and all that. So I had to upsize them. I had to go to the, the eight scale, 10 scale size. And batteries? So it works. Yeah, it um, works. I'm okay. I'm just getting in here. I didn't hear from when you started. Um, which lipo batteries are you using, or if you're using lipo batteries? Yes, I'm using a 2S. It's a 5,000 uh, milliamp. I think it's rated for 35C. It's a really low low rating on a C. So it will okay. overpower the servo controller board. Because if you pump too many amps into it, all the servos are going to draw. And when you get up to, uh -huh. you, know, you know, servos can pull, what, three, four amps each one? So you're talking that's 24 it? servos. Oh, oh so wow, I just learned 30, from 40, now. I didn't know amp. that. Yeah, that's a lot of amperage, man. That's like 30, 40 amps with all these servos pulling. So the 5,000 milliamp battery will last, I don't know, about a half hour, about the same as an RC car, right around there. You know, Ooh. walking around, stuff like that. But he's got a couple broken strip gears in them. Right. Yeah. I'll tell you, there's actually a project that I've watched. It's actually this thing right here. Have you guys seen this project? What, what did I do? Did I just dump everybody out of the stream? No. No, we're still here. Back to normal now. Where'd it go? Bam. Leave it. Bam. Don't, Bam. Dude, don't touch it. Right there. So <laughs> has, has anybody seen that this loader, that actually been creating this loader from that movie Alien? Oh yeah, I did oh, see that. Yeah. yeah, that thing was yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah. This was this was an insane project to watch them build. The only thing I didn't like about it was that obviously the project dragged out like a massive amount of time. But the insaneness of trying to create something that was from the movie was just nuts. It is so hard to program that stuff. You have right. to talk, you have to think about inverse kinem kinematics. That's right. Like Oh uh, yes, yeah, big word. Where it places the points <laughs> of the legs and stuff. You know, and, yeah, if you use those words all the time at work. Oh uh, yeah, I, I got you. Inverse kinematics and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I do have my you. eyes closed. <laughs> I have a I have a I have a uh, test build for a uh, two wheel balancing robot I'm making too. Let's see. Hold on. That's nuts. You should make it into a dirt bike. Yeah, that's what I was about uh, to say, man. You should build a motorcycle. He's all carbon, carbon fiber. He's probably a foot tall. Hold on. Let me see if I can find him. Oh, here he is. Sure. I like his setup. He's got literally everything in arm's reach. He's like, I've got this project. It's like, and I, I love all the Folgers coffee. Pins. I got a bum leg. So, <laughs> but this is his name is Cutesy. So he, Cutesy. yeah, Cutesy one. But he has two legs that work they're they're springy right so when he when he's working there's two wheels one on each axle so that it balances on mm, the two wheels gotta be and it can and it can actually balance itself are you serious yeah have you ever board. watched terminator do skynet there, man. Like, come on right on i board, think power boards and gyroscopes and stuff wow but, this is this guy this is, this is a good story because the first time I flew a quad, my dad gave it to me. I'm blind in this eye. So right. I got no depth of field. And yeah, the quad hit a tree. So this is what it's made into. That's the quad. <laughs> all the carbon fiber parts. You know, it works. But, but the great part is, is that you're creating like all these pretty cool things out of crashes. You know what yeah, I mean? That's, that's, that's all a, I that's, do. I, that's all awesome. I use awesome, garbage to build cool things, you know? Right, right. <laughs> right on. Be careful with that technology, man. You might stumble onto something that's just going to take over, like um, Chef was saying, Skynet. Skynet, yeah. dude. Come on, man. In take 30 it. years ago, they had to shut down a computer because it started going crazy. They pulled the plug on it, and they found another power source. Well, why isn't Star Wars checking this guy out with with these little creations that he's got right here? Oh, you know what, I mean? uh, what Disney or Lucas? What is it now? There's uh, only there's only one, one company that I will accept the job invite from, and that is Boston Dynamics. That's it. Go. Yeah, those guys are awesome. That's it. Nobody else. I like that spoof video they did. The one the one where they they made the guy they put the guy in the green suit with the balls and basically made him like. 
the robot. Oh, yeah, the I did robot. see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he was yeah. trying to carry the package, and the guy's hitting him with the broom. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, why you bleep? <laughs> right. okay, the robot turns on the guy with the guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Boston Dynamics, they, they do some awesome stuff. CIA going to be showing up at Pigeon Kickers. But, hey, they were here a long freaking time ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all on YouTube. I, I'm on a uh, development team for um, the – it's – how do I explain it? It's graphic. It's graphical interface programming for Arduinos, and it's called Visuino. And it's, it's just a bunch of, like, blocks that you drag around. And you can build your your routine or your program for it, like move this leg here and all that, and do this math. So it's it's kind of working with the developer of the software. So I get the beta test for the software to put into my robots. So when it does come out, then we're already one up on it. You right. know, it's already right. it's already in the system. So right. I don't know. I one of these like, days I can pay for it. <laughs> I feel like he's the smartest guy in this group. I um, I'm surprised that's why like Digital Dream Labs picked up that little vector thing that I've got. You know what I mean? Because uh, I want to get little, one of those, man. Yeah, the, little, the little vector robot thing, right? right? Oh, yep, yeah. They got a little. They got yeah. Right. They got a little yeah. one. Right. Did yeah, a new vector cool. come out? No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not yet. Oh, okay. Are they releasing a new one? At some yeah. point, there was supposed to be a vector too, but. Who yeah. knows what's going on with that? Is that if company picked it up, right? What? A new company picked them up, or something yeah. you were saying? Yeah, digital, digital Dream Labs picked them up. If, if they're Dream like, Labs, okay, if they're as good, Dream even Dream if they're just oh, as oh. good as the one you have, I'm gonna get one. Right. right. Like, they're cool, man. <laughs> DARPA wants them wants their robot back. They gotta come and get it. <laughs> they gotta come and get it. Right. I've been I've actually been keeping up on the DARPA programs because they're they're seriously getting into the to the AI uh, and things like that now. Seriously, Lane, into Lane, it. Uh, Pigeon says Nat, NASA's watching you. Pigeon kicker Lane Wait is actually trying to ask you a question. He says, okay. "Is that an aircraft gyro in your two-legged robot pigeon?" Yeah, uh, no, it's actually a nine-axis or one, two, three, four, five. It's a six-axis. It's got a three-axis accelerometer built in, and it's got a three-axis gyroscope. X, Y, Z for your angle, and then the accelerometer, when it twists or leans, it tells you how fast it's twisting and leaning. So Man, six axes, six of them. Dude, I feel... I feel yeah. good when I get a when I get a nitro motor running and you're building robots. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm like in here, I'm like, oh man, you're so good. This is motors running. You're like, I'm right. building a two legged robot. I got yeah. you. Teach me how to um, get a nitro right. motor running and I'll show you how to damn work build a robot. All right. All right. I'm, right. happy. Do that. I'm happy if I can land on all four wheels after yeah, that. Exactly. You're like, yes, like I got this running, it's tuned, let's do this. And you're like, yeah. I built this robot with all these extra parts I had laying around. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, it's, man. That's awesome it's, though. What it keeps me going, dude. It keeps me busy. What yeah, what's man. your what's your YouTube channel? I'm gonna uh shoot you up. Name is my display name, aka Pigeon Kicker. Okay, I'm gonna look you up right now. Right now kicker. Oh, yeah. But then uh Can you say something in chat real quick so just so I can yeah, see? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Uh, so the heck, Hank, the uh, heck, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on that too. Uh, John Miller, no, this is the Eco Power ECO. If you go on my channel, it's my newest video. I did a review on this and this, their mat. Um, their mat, honestly, I think is a little better than I said in the video, but um, this stand is phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, you can check out my review, it's up there. Chef, so you actually you like the mat now, Chef? Yeah, the mat really isn't too bad. Um, you because have the video, it. man, you were kind of hating on it. Yeah, it needs, it needs, like, all I had to do is put five cent uh, rubber pads on the bottom, and it would be 100% better. 
The fact that yeah. it didn't come with anything, because like if I take these grips out, it slides yeah, over on. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if if you make it so, like honestly, I think I'm gonna take an old mountain bike tube I have, cut it, and uh, glue it to the bottom, and it, it won't go anywhere. But good um, idea. Yeah, but um, are you so, able to are you able to take that Eco Power stand and like hold it up? Yeah, so how do you like the wording on that mat? It's driving me nuts. <laughs> the fact that they, like, <laughs> yeah, said it sold out overnight. That I was said, awesome. <laughs> I, said it, I said it in my video, too. Like, that was awesome. The, the holders are here, and then the Eco Power is upside down. Who designed that? Like, look at, like, it's upside down. It's driving me insane. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not I'm not picky with things with some things, but little things like that drive me insane. Like, fix that. I just I just had to. God, you I'm had to. right on stage three. I'll return the sub, man. <laughs> uh, I just subbed to you, but uh pigeon. I can't yeah. wait to see some of the stuff you do, man. That's sick. Um yeah, but... it's, it's, it's all on there. I've got a few robots, uh I got a breaking broken stuff series playlist. Um, you know, recycling with RCs. We we built a uh, we built a we had a Red Cat Blackout XTE Pro uh -huh. that hit a tree, and the whole front of the Blackout snapped off. So we put a uh, a great big long shoehorn on it for a ski, and then put paddle wheels on the back and made a direct drive snowmobile thing out Wait of it. I saw That's that. Up there. I already saw that. Did you see that before? We saw that. Yeah. Yep. We, uh, we took an old political campaign poster and chopped it up and made a, uh, it was an airboat kind of thing for the snow. It's a air powered uh, RC little boat. It was probably a foot and a half long. I mean, you know, just tear shit apart and make stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. No, Earl, was it. Sorry. Earl I'm just waiting. Apart. I'm waiting on RC guy garages uh, sticker. It's, I'm going to cover that, but I don't have any stickers. I have Met stickers, but Met stickers are going to go on my RCs. Oh, yeah, Met so. Met stickers are special. Yeah, well, because when I'm fixing things, I figure I'm just going to be just like you, you know, breaking stuff and fixing. It. You know, I'm going to hit a mailbox and then I'm going to fix my RC. <laughs> <laughs> hit a mailbox. <laughs> RC guy, when you finish with that logo, I really like what you're doing to it. All right, Dude, that's you gotta make it easy, bud. That that what? You Can have you? to make t-shirts from your logo you're doing. Right. I gotta figure out something. I keep trying to fine-tune the logo, and at some point I gotta stop because I'll never be done fine-tuning it unless I just point blank stop. Exactly. So, okay, you know. because I know you'll finish it, man. I mean, I'll wear those in my drag race video. Straight Appreciate up, dude. That, Appreciate that. Yeah, Maybe I don't that. have time to get into all of that right now. I'm just right. still doing this stuff. You know, like um, I'm representing Sheldon's Hobbies right now. I actually went and did a product review video tonight of um the prep drag racing stuff, and nice. they and they have two DR10 kits left, the new colorway. Hey, are you gonna actually do a video on the Hoss? What's what's right here right now? Are you going to do a video on that? From the, you know from the what? I got to look to see if they have that. If so, I will. So supposedly Hobby Chops are supposed to be getting those this weekend. Um, they're supposed to be available. Like, you know how they send out all the... Um, like they did the, with the match. Right, a little demo, yeah. They're going to send yeah. out the demo demo units to the, um, to the shop, so... Supposedly well, will be because um of that laser nut. That's the only one they still have. You got to pre-order it. Right. And I didn't go super in depth with it. You know, I just did basic. Right. But um, but I'm getting better and better as I go. You know, just a learning process. I enjoy right. it. Right. And that's what it takes. You know? It takes a couple of times doing it. You know. Yeah. So I have to figure out what's going on with my camera because tonight when I was talking about bodies, all of a sudden my camera stopped and I couldn't get it going again. So. Right. I was kind of bummed out about that. Right. That's but that's whatever. when you have to have multiple cameras with you. 
Yeah. Don't don't you always have like three going, dude? I use I always have two cameras going just in case. Your GoPro and your phone. Yep. Yeah. Good that man. way it can trade off, you know what I mean? So if I lose one and I don't notice because your eyes aren't always paying attention and I can't always tell if this camera's running. You know what I mean? I literally yeah. have to like take a picture of the camera to see if it's running. Yeah. So, so um, Jason. Oh, just yeah. Um, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday or something like that. You know, I'm gonna go back out to the Alameda Airfield. Um, right. you know, like I say, you know, what's open back up to the public, dude. Right. I have an airplane runway all to myself. That's awesome. Oh, dude, that's legit. And um, right. security even came by a couple of times and they stopped and watched. Um, I have that um two wheel drive slash on two cell because I used a 32 pitch. Right. Um. I got that thing doing like 61, 62. <laughs> and this is yeah. two cells. So I'm doing right. something. Right. right. But find out from that hobby shop whether if you can, if they're going to get one in, that would be a good video for you to do. Yes, you know? it would be. If if they do, I am. That's why with the laser nut, I was on it. And I even put it on YouTube already right. um, because I know there's not a lot of videos on it yet. And I just really wanted to show it. The 2.2 tires of gold, the BF Goodrich, big beefy um, rock crawling race wheels. The thing is awesome. You right. Know? right. Yeah, it looks yeah. Cool. Where, now, were you able to compare it at all to a, a uh, DB Pro? No. That's what I'm really curious about. That's what I how, need to how do. It, how it like, pairs up against that. Right. RC driver already did it. Oh, did he? Yeah, it's that's up right. already. That's all right. Yeah, it doesn't, no, but it yeah. doesn't matter. Because I wasn't you, even thinking about doing that at the time. Right. You need to get different perspectives and different people's, you know, points of opinion. Exactly. Around. So, True. yeah, I agree. You need. You can't just go off of one person's opinion. Right. No. Right. You just need, like, to off, need to go off of mine. Yeah, <laughs> they they might uh they might do something different than what you would do, and you might come to a different conclusion. You know what I mean? You might run it the way I do, and they might run it the way someone else does. You know, like yeah, everybody right, just, does it different. Right, just like I was talking about the difference between CCXRC and Harley Design. They did a review basically on the laser nut and. While Harley design is more along that lines of talking everything about scale and his mouth is water and he's like really into it. And he's telling you like the history of the drivers and all that stuff where then when you watch CCXRCs, you can see he's got the knowledge, but he also has the video. Yeah. He's got his video is just like for that laser that was off the charts. It, it yeah, was, I it need was to sit back and watch that. Really good video. So I haven't seen that one yet. I'll watch that. Yeah, you gotta watch yeah I need that. to watch that. Yeah. Good video. Um, yep. Did did you say he ran it? Yes. Yep. Wait, I want to see yep. that thing in motion. Yeah, you, you'll like it. You'll like his video. He did very good. It also makes you realize once you start filming, it makes you realize how many times he has placed that camera and how many times he potentially had to drive by to get the shot. You know that yeah. you said oh, now God. that you said that, like now I watch more what like when I watch YouTube videos, I look at videos differently now that I'm like trying to video as I do things. Yeah. I'm like, man, how many times did he move that camera? Or yeah. how many times yeah. did he do this? You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. hate now when I watch a movie and I go, Wow, that was like nine cameras. Yeah, like <laughs> it's insane. You know I mean? Like <laughs> like I've I have more respect. Like I always just like, man, that, that must be kind of crappy. And then I mean, like so like I told you guys, guys, like this has nothing to do with RC, but like I I'm in the I'm in the mountain biking. I watch mountain bike my uh mountain biking videos and like they get like nine different angles. I'm like that dude literally got off his bike, placed cameras, moved them every time. Like right. it, it's insane. And yeah. RC videos are the same thing, like he had angles from every, like he had a picture from every angle. Like, it's insane. I need more GoPros. <laughs> right? Yeah, I've I've come to have a whole new respect for people that actually have decent, you know, production on their YouTube channel. For yeah. What it takes, you know. Yeah. I need. I definitely get another uh, GoPro. I tell you, it I really is a lot of work. If you want to learn how to do a couple of things, 
use one single camera to film an entire setup and then you realize the benefit of having multiple cameras yeah oh yeah because i'm telling you i did the video that i did with my truck um that was one camera when i did the burnout burnout with big black that yeah. was yeah. one camera so there's a shot of me taking off like uh, it's it's to explain like how many times you do things sometimes like when i'm in my truck i'll take literally the shot of pulling in the driveway while i'm in the truck mm -hmm. and then i'll stop i'll take the camera put it on the tripod back up and then drive forward as if it was all seamless you know what i mean yeah yeah, you just have to do it multiple times. Right, yeah. you have to know where to cut it so that it looks like it's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, like so um, hard to uh, recreate things. So, yeah, well, that's where the editing and cutting comes into yeah. play. Yeah, like uh, yeah. I found with making, uh, especially like making the tank videos and things like that. Uh, with with the one tiger in the bush, when when I put the cam mounted the one of the cameras right on the barrel of the tank, so it was looking back when it was crawling up through the bushes. You know, we did that probably eight, nine, ten times. And right. by the end, before we got to the right shot, we had to use one of the prior ones because the bushes were all pushed down. Right. You know? It's 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 like I was. What, you know, what's funny is I was going to show you a for instance right on this video that they're talking that we've got going right here right now. Yeah. It shows when the car is in the bowl. Forget where it is. It's in here somewhere. But when this car is in the bowl, you can tell what they do is they switch it to another shot to where I think it's right here. When he makes the other half? Yes, because obviously. Yeah. Right, because obviously they ran the bowl a few times. They'll throw a camera on and they'll run a similar track to try to get those shots. And like then, yeah. then they'll do another shot so you're not seeing the camera on the truck. That's another negative that whenever you're filming something, try not to have the camera visible that's on the truck. You know what uh -huh. I mean? It's, yeah. it's, these, it's these weird little things that people will pick up on that take away from that film experience, you know? Uh, John Miller, uh, I don't. Th we don't know what kind of chassis that is yet. Um, we, we're, me, RC guy and Gus were talking. We think it's like a hybrid between like a right. rust, a rustler, a uh, what's the other one? The Stampede, and uh, something else. It's like kind of like a mix, but we don't know what the chassis is yet. Jado shocks, right? Jado shocks. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm telling you, these are the shocks right here. Dude, these these are the, shocks. They're running Jado shocks. Right. Hey, was uh Chef, that was you that had that bouncy, bouncy, bouncy truck, right? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Are, are those air based or are they oil air? Oh or, no, they have oil on them. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, and they're pig they're piggyback Come too. On. I'm telling you right now, I've changed the oils. <laughs> I've I've changed springs. They just aren't good. They have no valve. No, and they're literally, it's on the original Revo 33. So, like, I have a brand new Revo 33, but, um, yeah, they're just garbage. <laughs> like, if you, if you jump that truck, like, four feet in the air, those caps on those piggybacks shoot off, and the oil goes everywhere. Everywhere, overpressure in them. Dude, so they're, they're just. got airlock in it. Dude, I've tried everything. I got all the bubbles out. I use yeah. less oil. I, dude, they're just not good. Huh. It's just not good. Cause that that's weird. They shouldn't bounce like that, buddy. <laughs> dude, they're at. I know. I know. I've tried everything you can think of. They're just not good. <laughs> I can see you hitting the ramp with that thing, and the wheels going 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 going. I that that truck has, dude. That truck hasn't been running like two years. So uh, my original Revo three uh two five the first Revo. Um, I put the stock shocks back on, and uh, yeah. there it's just fun. I just I'm I'm big Revo guy. Like I like that platform a lot. It handles well. It stunts well. Like it's just a good all around truck. But yeah, for some reason those I've never had any good luck with any kind of integrity shocks or integrity or whatever you want to call it.
Integi or Integi? Integi and Integi. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Bro said, uh, change the valving. I think you said you already tried that, though, right? Dude, I've done everything you can think of with those. I just kind of just put it there and just laugh Are at they... it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm going to get some leather and make some leather, like, plungers for, like, the, the old air pump style leather plunger. Yeah, it, it needs yeah. something. But honestly, I think I have the stock shocks somewhere. So I'm just going to replace them. Yeah. It's just like I said, the truck hasn't been running forever, so like I don't really care. It just sits there for send right them, now. Send them bad shocks to me. We'll put them on the next RC we destroy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're we're doing that too. We're, we're collecting all the parts and just throwing stuff together and and making videos of how we put it together, what we used, and how we break it. Hey, I respect it. It's got to do something, man. It's COVID. It's, it was it was really driving my son crazy so yeah we we got all the old laptops out and we screwed one of them to the tree and counted all how many chops with an axe it took to cut it in half oh my god <laughs> that sounds like something chef would do yeah, yeah. my Just kind of people like you know gotta, gotta pass the time you know gotta pass the time uh, there's another one we made some uh we put 72 uh the there's little they're called 18650 batteries, and in laptops, they use them. They're lithium ion, not lithium yeah, polymer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's 72 of them that we linked together and put them into a scooter and on a stand up scooter. And then we took the front end off of an old uh, Red Rider wagon and screwed the backrest of an office chair to the Red Rider wagon wheels and then hooked it all together and made a video driving that. It actually goes pretty good, man. <laughs> That thing moves. It was fun. Yeah, I bet, dude. That's awesome. It was fun. It was fun. It's still going too, but it's uh, it's running at fifty-two volts on a thirty-two volt motor, so it gets hot kind of quick. We got to shut her down every once in a while. I bet. <laughs> yeah. Where are you but from? Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, kind of in between Detroit and Lansing. Yeah, it's not too bad out right now. It was a decent day. It's Eighty something. Close 90. Went to yeah. the beach yesterday to hang out. Played with the boat a little bit. Yeah, it was like 90 something today. But. Yeah, same here, like in the 90s, mid 90s. Yeah. It's supposed to be hey, that man, way for the next couple of days. Here's a question. I know all of you have done all your review videos and all that, but on your app, like when I build something, I like to test it and then go back over the parts on it to see what, what kind of wear and tear it has. You know, have you get have you ever done any kind of video like that? And uh, any tips for how I should do that? Because we did the four hours on the tank running, and now we want to look at the wheels and the bearings and the suspension and the drivetrain and make sure it's not wearing out funny. But it I don't depends. Know it it like depends the, upon what it is. I mean, like right now, one of the biggest things is the EXB. So because the EXB is having issues with the rear end, yeah. people have been literally driving it. Taking or take it apart before you even drive it, take it apart after you've driven it, make modifications, take it apart again, reinspect the gears. Basically, is that what you're asking? Like, well, kind of the anybody... format for the video, more more what? along the lines of the format for the whole video. Like, like I don't know if I should uh, uh, make it like a long format, 15, 20 minutes, and cover like every little thing that went bad or just make multiple like three or four different videos of short versions like suspension damage or turret damage and stuff like that i say keep it within like 25 to 30 minutes memorable. and then and then you know what's funny is i'll tell you to do i'll tell you to do whatever you want because some people want the 10 minute video some people literally don't even want to listen to you talk they just right want on. to see wrenching it, it, yeah. you'll you'll never please everybody so the way I say it, it's your channel. You do what you want. Yeah, I try to it keep around 10 to 15 minutes. Do it. it doesn't matter what you do. Someone's going to complain. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I'm not nearly as big as any of, of these other guys. But, like, me, I'm just looking at it as a YouTube What are you guy. talking about? I stepped on the scale, and I got the same numbers. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, to, like, to just as a YouTube guy who likes to watch YouTube videos, 
30 minutes is kind of like my uh, if it's a 30 minute video i'll sit down and watch the entire thing anything like 45 to 50 minutes i don't watch all of it i i tend to skip through the small shit or small stuff sorry and get to like the good stuff you know what i mean yeah. so like i don't know i would give it a, that's just me personally give it a quick like review and then maybe the parts that are the worst that or even it, or yeah. even if it's like a I would say even if it's like a 55 minute video be like if you're interested in just what we found yeah fast forward to 20 minutes and this is where we go over what this oh, but if right. you want to watch yeah if you want to watch how we take it apart and how we got to it watch the entire video right you know right have know, like, a people short, like that. Short, uh, some that's, people like to have the time Right on. I'm going to have my son look at that because he's the one that's trying to plan the, the video makeup on how we do that. But because, like, I, I have a feeling, like, because I have a feeling some of my videos soon are going to be pretty long. So I think I'm going to do the same thing. Like, if you're just interested in this part, go here. You and know also, I mean? also, the thing is, too, is you're also a niche, meaning your yours is different. Yours isn't like ripping apart a regular RC car. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, whoever yeah. whoever is going to want to watch that might actually want to watch a 50-minute video, but then a lot of people might not even watch it because it it's doesn't not what they're, yeah. yeah right, gotcha, right. Gotcha. So maybe builders and designers like that watch certain things that you've done may be interested to see like all the internal workings. You know, yeah, all right, yeah. so so you did this, then why did that this happen? You know what I mean? Yeah, so we're all up there. I've got all, I've got 20, 30 videos about the build of it so far. I mean, yeah. hell, I got a gearbox in there from an old school clock. Okay, well, all right. So if LPG you have you said you've got twenty to thirty videos, right? Yeah. How do they perform? Well, within a week, I usually get like two, three hundred hits. Okay. Yeah, you know, right around there. I've only got a couple I'm, hundred subscribers. Right, but what I'm saying though is that. Based upon the focus of whatever you're working on, sometimes what you need, this is where I always talk about don't watch the numbers, but you have to watch the numbers when it comes to this. Yeah, if you've got a small amount of people that watch it, yeah. Right. So if you've got something that all of a sudden you noticed exploded, you have to think to yourself, okay, why did I get, you know, 300 more people watching this video versus this video? Do you know what I mean? You almost have to like analyze what it is. Yeah, that was yeah, about yeah, that yeah, video yeah. that attracted people's attention. Right. You know, right. I mean, I, I've got a video right now that's sitting in the queue. I don't even know why I'm going to post it, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm just going to. But I'm just going to. Right. right. On. I watch, just I, you know, it's funny because you post all your little, little stupid stuff or whatever it is. Right. I end up clicking on it, streaming it to the TV and watching it, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, right. sit there with morning, morning coffee and COVID, you know. Right. Right. Do that one too. Earl, Earl, you're one of the people I don't fast forward through. Just gonna put that out there. He says I skip his videos, <laughs> but yeah. no, I don't actually. No, I just sit there and watch all day. Right. Earl's actually the same thing that I do. Is like even with Joe Daddy's Garage, same thing. What I'll do is that, see that TV right there. Yeah. That's that's the central TV for like this whole like kitchen and all that stuff. So if that TV's on, because I can cast from my phone to that TV. Yeah. Whatever video I had on goes on that television, and in the morning, when the coffee's going, when the when the dogs are, I'm feeding the dogs. That TV's on, and I'm not watching the news. I've got Earl's last video that he just posted. Yeah, or exactly. I did the same on there or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah even, you even, even, that up for you. even even if it's background noise, what it is is it catches your ear, and when you hear something that's of interest. Go big or go home. <laughs> when it catches, you know what's in it. catches interest, then you'll watch it. You'll go, oh, and then you might back it up. Yeah. But what, what, one thing I did notice about watching it on the TV, though, you have to go back and hit the thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a hard thing to do when you're streaming it. It is. That's, it really the, bad, is. that's the bad thing. It really so, is. Whoever's it's on bad. the stream right now, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, hit that <laughs> like Hit that like. But yeah, I, actually, there. you just reminded me there probably is quite a few that I got to go back and thumbs up. Right. So what I do <laughs> is I actually go back on this in my history, and yeah, I'll go yeah. back and I'll hit the video and I'll thumbs up it, you know? Right now. So that, right now. 
that's I, I really don't I really don't look at numbers, but like I have a my Capra kit I built. My for some reason that um dig servo video I did is up to eight hundred and something views, which as is it, as it should be. Because which is which is like a lot for me. But I it, right. I Sorry. only did it because I know a lot of people always ask questions on that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to show people how I did it because everybody asks and nobody ever has a video. That's so the I, only that's the only time that I talk about watching your numbers because you hit on a hot vehicle that had the dig function and people want to know and it's a servo. So yeah. it's like that's stuff people want to see. Yeah, and and, like, I mean? and the thing that bothers me though is I have – like maybe 15 to 20 likes on it i'm like dude you watch the video just just hit the like button just just, just click it all i don't right. care about if you sub all just right. hit the like button <laughs> so this is also the thing you're not paying attention to then when you go into analytics you need mm -hmm. to see how long the video is being watched yeah. for yeah, because what it could be you know, it could be just a click somebody sees the video and they're like ah oh, this is garbage do you know what i mean so yeah. you're getting you're getting the click but you're not getting the click. You're not getting what what kicker view time. Talking. Yeah, pigeon kicker was talking about. Yeah. You're not getting the view time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Let me check it out. That's why the big thing about clickbait. That's why people don't like clickbait because yeah, it gets somebody to click on it. Like what you're talking about right now is the the like the video is five and a half minutes long, and I'm explaining how I program this. Uh, a lot of my tutorials that I make for that robotics programming, the quick, like the watch time is longer than the actual video because right. go back and watch it a few times. So right. I end up getting on that five and a half minute video, I might get 10 or 15 minutes of watch time. Right. So it's, it's, that's one good thing about some of the videos I make, but you well, are right. It's a, it's a very small, a uh, very small group of people that, right. that would actually have some kind of interest in what I do like that. Right. right. It's tough yeah. because not everybody, and I hate to say it this way, not everybody has that patience yeah. to, be, to be able to do what you're doing right now. Yeah. They yeah. might have the interest in wanting to see like, oh, once you get it running, people are going to be like, wow, that thing's awesome. And then what can happen from that is there might be a backtrack. Go where back people at them. Once yeah. people see the thing going, they're going to be like, how did this guy do this? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. then you'll get clicks further into your videos. Yeah. You know? I got it. It's, it's an old tank. It's like an eight minute video, and the average view time is four minutes. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they literally just looked at how I set it up, and then they click out. Right. Because like the, the second half of it is kind of me just like talking about like how I set up the rest of the Capra. Right. Like um, I was looking around for videos like when that uh, X show came out and they had that extra servo for dig. I had to go through five different videos in order for me to really sit down and somebody to explain it to me. That's why I like your videos, RC Guy Garage and Chef, um, yeah. a.k.a. Pigeon. I haven't seen any of yours yet, but I will. And Earl, I always sit through what Earl's doing because that dude is that dude's out there. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, Earl, he's, Earl, he's yeah. got something going. Right. Earl has the best slow-mos that I've ever seen. Hey, that's right. Yeah. Earl said, oh, there's my finger. <laughs> Earl said he oh, likes my you're like it's all in the camera. <laughs> Earl, I Earl said see golf carts in his videos lately, man. I miss the golf carts. <laughs> right. Earl said he likes my videos. But my crawling one, he wanted to step in and climb the log because my my first climbing video on my Capra was horrible. <laughs> I know. I even said, like jerky. You know, it's like it's like five minutes of him just going choo 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 choo. Hey, choo. Man. <laughs> it's my first one. All right. Yeah. Like um, I learned how to properly um redo my diff from you rc guy and earl because you guys were just so it didn't matter that the video was long from start to end and actual time that right. that helps so much right just the and information just, that was just in keep it doing what you're doing yeah the information that was in it right exactly yeah 
Yeah. It's step by step. That's what I want. Yeah. Right. yeah. This is how you but, shim the sides. This is how you, right. you shim your pinion out. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. Right. It, is, yeah, it is actually a very important part of putting a, di a differential in there. Right. And it's it's really surprising how many people just take the old shims out and put it all back in there exactly the way it was and burn it out in like you know a week or two. Yeah. Just yeah. Grind, grind it right back down. Right. Since I'm going to be doing um <laughs> little so. video stuff for this hobby shop, um people that tune me in with their videos, I'm really really learning how they come across, how they talk, um how much time they spend in between subjects. You know, because the last thing I want to do is bore the heck out of people. Right. That's that's something that's hard to figure out. Like, again, like I said, you, it doesn't matter what you do. Somebody's going to complain about something. Yeah. Something. Yeah, I think a lot right. of those trolls, they have nothing to do, man. Uh, I've actually had a pretty good run on complaints. I haven't, I haven't had too many of those. That's good. You know, sometimes I'll do my math wrong, and then some professor will jump on there and tell me, that my PID calculations are incorrect or something. You know what, you know? You know what though? PID. PID. You know what though? PID. You've got a professor watching you. Exactly. They're still yeah. watching. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got yeah. Einstein watching you, dude. Right. Yeah, that's good, though. That's good, though. I can teach him about his uh, space time theory. James, what's going on, guy? Yeah, hey, what's going on here? How are you? Great. Hello. How are you? Very good. What's happening? What's going on in chat here? What? I'm so confused. Why? <laughs> Why are you confused? Why are you confused? Oh, uh, trying to. Yeah. Uh, lucky John, I don't know what a lucky logger is. I just wanted to say I, I love your videos and uh, RC guy. I hope you continue on doing what you're doing. I, I really try. appreciate it, man. You've teach me a lot. Appreciate that, man. Another beard. So I like to see. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Earl, that's right. You can go through two hours of footage for ten minutes. Right. Without being boring, man. That's what you gotta do. This leg thing's uh well, wow. what else we got going on in chat? Get out of here! This is freaking me out. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, John. I don't, yeah, I don't know what that is, John. It's a, uh, it's banquet. Oh, uh, that was kind of cool. He's like, ah, this is freaking me out. It doesn't happen every day, does it? Oh. Nope. <laughs> Oh, hey guys! I'll see you next time. I enjoy this. All right, Casey. Uh, hey, I enjoy it, man. Have a good night, buddy. Too. I right. do. Oh yeah, I have some more bodies I'm coming up that I'm going to be painting too. So I'm looking forward to see what I do. Casey, I'm right. glad to see you back into painting bodies, man. You do a good yeah, job. Yeah, I'm going to see what you do, man. That's going to be. It's sweet. so much fun, dude. Right. Hey, you All do right. your reviews on. Uh, you do your reviews with Coach D in them, right? Coach D. Coach D, is that you with them? Or that's another uh, bunch that they oh. sometimes, I think I've seen you before on one doing a review or talking on another one on Me? another channel before. Me? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Are you mistaken for someone else? It might be. Thank you, though. <laughs> it <wasn't. laughs> I, I don't know. It could be. It is getting late. You know? All right, guys. Right on that on that note, I'm actually gonna close up shop. We're looking at like twelve, almost forty. Yeah, I have to wake up yeah. at five a.m. So. <laughs> twelve thirty-eight. Right. <laughs> twelve thirty-eight, okay. twelve forty. We're close. So, yeah, chef. Actually, you you have work tomorrow. It's no good. No, I'm off tomorrow. It's Tuesday. What? But I remember I had that thing to go to tomorrow. Right, 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 right. right. So I have to wake up at five a.m. for that. So. Right. See you next time. Pigeon kick, it was good having Take it you. Easy, man. Man. Hey, uh, next time I'll have the robot walking around and I'll uh, walk him around live on the table or something. Yeah, that'd, that'd be that'd sweet. Be awesome. man. Right on. That'd All be right. awesome. Peace. All right, man. We'll see, see you later. Yep. RC guy, have a good night. Everybody in chat, it was a pleasure talking to all you guys. Have a good right. night, everybody. See you later, Chef.
All right, so we've got uh, – going to just jump into the chat real quick. we got John Miller. we got Rift to the Raft, J-O-R-C, uh, Hard Life Customs Garage. What's going on, guy? What kind of brand of crawler you should get, man? I don't know, man. Crawlers are tough for me. Definitely there are a couple of uh, people out there that could probably steer you in the right direction. I have a DC-1, which is a bow. I have two – uh, actually, I have three other crawlers, but crawlers aren't something that I'm really into, and I figured that out pretty quick. It's, I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just a different kind of way of driving. We have Earl Moorhead. We have, let's see, John Miller. I think I said that already. We've got Nobody, No One. I don't even know if people are still here. So Hector Santos, I didn't even notice you were here, brother. My eyes are actually blurry right now. Trying to see who's in the chat. I literally think that's it. Looks like it was just a group of, a small group of people that are hanging on. And uh, we're just going to end this right where it is. Tonight, we basically talked a little bit about some of the offerings that um, some of these car companies have, which obviously you can see right here to my side on this side right here. We've got Traxxas who unleashed what is called the Haas VXL, which is this vehicle right here. It's a nice shot of it. It comes in this orange and purple, and then it also comes in a, it's a blue and green, or a green and blue, which is that one right there. Seems like it's gonna be a good vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna get a better look at it this Friday and or Saturday at my local hobby store. And I will definitely be back to tell you guys exactly what my real thoughts are because Traxxas right now got under my skin. So I want to I want to check out their latest and greatest vehicle, especially seeing that we've got this company right here, Arma, who is absolutely crushing it with the offerings that they have come out with. So... You want to talk about a company that has been putting the hammer down? Right now, Arma has been putting the hammer down. The other company we talked about real quick was this company right here, which is one of my favorite companies other than Habao, is obviously Losi. Losi, as a kid, was definitely the company to go with. I mean... If if I could own a Losi when I was younger, it was like it was a dream vehicle of mine to have. So um, we talked a little bit about the laser nut. Um, really not that much. Obviously, just saying that basically it is a new offering from Losi. Um, we're coming in at four seventy nine, so four eighty for that, which is the same price as this thing right here. So this thing is coming in at the same price. So you got 479 for that thing right there. And then you've got this vehicle right here. Again, same price. Can you consider the things as being in the same class? Absolutely not. They're definitely not the same vehicle. When you're talking about Losi, Losi is a flat out performer. Traxxas, Traxxas is more of like, at least the Haas, looks like it's going to be point blank, just a, a basher. A 3S basher. And then the same thing as far as Arma goes with what they've done. We were trying to determine, you know, what is it close to? So is that Traxxas uh, Haas more close to this vehicle right here? Maybe the Granite? Or are we even possibly talking about the vehicle being close to the Big Rock, which is right? Where is it? See it somewhere. Come on, Big Rock. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Well, it was here somewhere. Maybe it's this one. This one. So obviously this truck is way wider. Not that. <laughs> not that truck. That's the Typhon. That's not what I clicked on. We clicked on this right here and then we tried to go to this click hey so we were trying to see like what were the similarities what were the differences obviously in my opinion 
this is set up as a more of a bigger truck, but it will be interesting to see the difference between how this vehicle runs and maybe how that Traxxas runs. Maybe that Traxxas one, the Haas, is more like the Granite. I'm actually not sure, but hopefully we're going to find out in the channel. And like I said, this Friday, Saturday, I'm going to do or get footage, a more in-depth look to this Traxxas Haas thing right here. I'm hoping it's a vehicle that is going to, let's say, appease my appease my brain here because of Traxxas's warranty support. So anyways, I'm out of here. It is time to end the stream. Thank you, everybody, for coming to whatever this was called. I don't even know what it was called anymore. I don't even know what I called this. Late Night Live with RC Guy Garage. Uh, new cars. I don't know. I don't even know what it was. So it's time for me to say goodbye. And COVID and coffee tomorrow morning? Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm running out of things to talk about. That's what these live streams do. They kill it for the next day. So who knows? Maybe it'll be a COVID and coffee. I'm not sure. Uh, but look out for it. You might be surprised. Don't forget to throw a thumbs up on your way out if you're still here. Uh, if you want to throw a thumbs down, go right ahead. Do whatever you got to do. Um, yeah, that's it. I always say get out and rip it. I am working on my logo. My logo, logo is getting pretty damn close. We have got – this is what I've come up with for my logo very very close to this right here this is an unfinished version of my logo that i'm designing for my channel that is 100 percent designed by me nobody else and that's not the finished product the finished product is actually still on my computer and um it's been a long time coming for a logo for this channel and uh i'm out and like I always say, you should get out too and point blank rip it because that is what you should do. Put a smile on your face. And I'm actually going to go get some sleep. So good night, everybody. And maybe we'll see you tomorrow for COVID and